Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Job Transfer for All People. I became a mythical beast master at the beginning. Chapter 21 Among the mountains of items, even with a cursory scan, Liu Xiaoya found the glow of at least several pieces of finished equipment. There are even some rays of light that can only be possessed by bronze level equipment. This guy sold black iron grades in the morning, but now he started selling bronze grades. And Chen Zan's answer further verified her guess. It counts, Chen Zan nodded without denying it. In addition to these materials, there are two second level skill books, here, right there. Chen Zan raised his finger and pointed, and on the top of the mountain, there were two groups of dazzling lights that stood out the most. Second level skill book, Liu Xiaoya didn't care whether Own behaved dignifiedly, but rushed over with a whoosh. Click directly on the information on the skill. Toxin touch, flame arrow, okay, okay, all are mages' skill books. As a good appraiser, nothing excites her more than seeing something good. But before her excitement dissipated, Chen Zan spoke out again, oh, by the way, there is also a bronze suit inside, but it's for a soldier, please sister Ya, please estimate the price together. Suits, suits, Liu Xiaoya felt that she couldn't speak well. If equipment is the main boost for professionals, then suits are an important means for professionals to get rid of the same rank. No one does not know what a complete suit represents. Even if it's just a bronze level suit, it's enough to make professionals flock to it. Now, Liu Xiaoya has completely overturned her previous guess about Chen Zan. As early as just now, she thought that Chen Zan was just a son of a family from a nearby city, who came out to level up and deal with his own harvest. But when she saw the two skill books and the suit, she was sure that Chen Zan was 100% from a powerful family, or even a direct elite from a powerful guild. Because only this kind of person can be valued by the family, and he does not hesitate to send a high rank strong man to upgrade with him. Only in this way can a secret realm be maxed out in such a short period of time. Such an existence is definitely a professional with great potential. At this moment, she was extremely grateful for her help to Chen Zan before, if she could gain his friendship, it would be of benefit to her for the rest of her life. It's a pity, how did she know that these gains were only made by Chen Zan alone? The reason why Chen Zan did so much fanfare is also intentional. On the surface, he is in his teens, but in fact, Chen Zan, who has been a man for two lifetimes, is far more mature than he appears on the surface. What is real is empty, and what is empty is real. This is the wisdom of the ancestors. In the end, according to the previous process, Liu Xiaoya gave Chen Zan a valuation. In the end, Chen Zan earned an income of more than 2 million gold coins. The four-piece suit alone is worth 500,000 yuan, and the two skill books add up to 800,000 yuan. Including his remaining deposits before, it is now as high as more than 3 million. Although he got rich all of a sudden, Chen Zan didn't feel the slightest joy, because he had just begun to spend his money. The most important fighting force is the two little guys. With the experience of the last Tianyin spiritual marrow, Chen Zan waved his hand directly this time. Give me a hundred copies of Tianyin spiritual marrow. What, a hundred copies? Liu Xiaoya was taken aback for a moment, then smiled embarrassedly, sorry, Mr. Chen, we only have fifty copies in stock now. It doesn't matter, if there is not enough, you can use other similar materials to supplement. Now Chen Zan knew how much Xiaoyan could eat. He doesn't believe that if he goes down to 100 shares, can the other party still grow. Similarly, the small teeth also need suitable food to promote its growth. As usual, Chen Zan asked Liu Xiaoya to prepare some ice element ingredients for Xiaoya to choose by herself. Soon Xiaoya fell in love with a material called Frost Tears. Sister Ya, how much stock do you have for the Frost Tears? Chen Zan thought that since he wanted to buy, he might as well buy more. Don't worry, Mr. Chen, Frost Tears is not only a material needed by strange beasts, but also a high-grade quenching material commonly used by blacksmiths. We still have at least 200 copies in stock. Liu Xiaoya introduced with a smile, I wonder how much you want. Then give me a hundred copies too. Chen Zan thought for a while and said directly. Okay, wait a moment, I'll have someone bring it up. Liu Xiaoya didn't let Chen Zan go this time, because although what happened in the morning was not big, she didn't want to leave any bad experience for Chen Zan. Even, 
She didn't leave the private room herself, but directly sent someone to the warehouse to fetch all the things Chen Zan needed. Chen Zan didn't ask about the alien beast eggs or the alien beast cubs. Because he had seen the inventory of the entire firm before, and to be honest, he was not satisfied. Moreover, after having Xiaoyan and Xiaoya, Chen Zan began to think about the direction of his next two contracted beasts. Xiaoyan is a beast of the fire department, and is extremely proficient in all kinds of fire magic. Xiaoya is an ice type, and also proficient in various ice type magic. Chen Zan only has two contracted beasts per turn, even though there is one more than the average beast master, but he still has to be cautious. Therefore, according to his consideration, it is most appropriate to choose a strange beast with completely different attributes. Sister Ya, do you know of any place that can produce alien beast eggs or cubs? While waiting, Chen Zan casually asked, Exotic beast eggs or cubs? Lu Xiaoya thought for a moment, and then said, any secret realm that can produce contracted alien beasts is called an alien beast secret realm. And as far as I know, the closest strange beast secret realm in Frostwind City is the Shadow Python secret realm of the Wu family. Quote. Shadow Python secret realm. A piece of information suddenly flashed in Chen Zan's mind. He had heard the teacher tell anecdotes about novelty hunting in class before. It is said that a very fast giant python can be contracted as a mount by humans, and it is called a shadow python. Could it be that this shadow python secret realm produces this kind of thing? That's right, but this shadow python secret realm is unique to the Wu family, and it's also a unique product of their chamber of commerce. Liu Xiaoyu responded with a smile, I think what you need, Mr. Chen, is not a mount. If you want to enter this secret realm, you need to go to the Wu Family Chamber of Commerce to buy a secret realm pass. Hum, thank you, Sister Ya, for your clarification. Chen Zan nodded, the secret realm pass is no stranger to him, and most of the secret realms generally need to use a pass to open it. And the family or guild that masters the secret realm usually sells passes to obtain benefits. Because this secret realm is a renewable resource, no matter how many times it is entered, it will be automatically refreshed every once in a while and restored to its original state. This is actually one of the reasons why the Wu Family Chamber of Commerce can stand firm under the competition of many chambers of commerce that have opened up the country. Naturally, Chen Zan needed not only a mount, but also a cub with the potential to become a contracted beast. At present, he can only choose to go to the Wu Family Chamber of Commerce to buy this secret realm pass and try it out. Seeing that Chen Zan didn't say much, Sister Ya was tactful and didn't ask any more questions. The atmosphere in the private room passed in a little silence for a while, when someone opened the door suddenly, a female trader came in, waved and put all the prepared materials on the table. Director Liu, everything is here. Um, Liu Xiaoya nodded lightly, and looked at Chen Zan with a smile. Mr. Chen, you can make an inventory. Good. Chen Zan was never sloppy about business, he lifted the red silk and satin and began to count the materials in front of him. 45, 46, 47. Dot ha. Chen Zan, who was counting, couldn't help but frowned, and was directly interrupted by the noise coming from outside the door. Seeing this, Liu Xiaoya's expression darkened immediately, who was making noise outside. Why don't you go and see? Yes. The female trader quickly turned around and left the private room, but she just closed the door. Hi, gentlemen, this is the land cat firm, please. Stop talking nonsense, the person who bought Frost's tears is in the private room, right? Tell him to come out. No, our client is trading, sir, you can't, hey, sir, sir. With a bang, the door was pushed open from the outside by a strong force. Chen Zan and Liu Xiaoya looked up at the same time, but saw several figures walking in aggressively. You guys are so brave, you dare to be so presumptuous in my local cat business. Seeing a few people, Liu Xiaoya was the first to stand up, and said softly. Hurry up and get out of here, or don't blame me for being rude. When they saw Liu Xiaoya, they were taken aback for a moment. Someone behind him was about to speak, but a middle-aged man with a beard raised his hand to stop him. He he, it turned out that Director Lu received the guests, no wonder. The bearded man hugged the cupped fist and smiled lightly. Sha Liu Cheng is a professional of Kuangtao Guild. The Kuangtao Guild, isn't that the guild behind the Wu family? Hearing this, 
Chen Zan's heart skipped a beat, and he suddenly remembered that Ji Lian had introduced this Guangtao Guild. So, he looked at the other party subconsciously, and used the skill he had just acquired, the Eye of the Beginning. Name, Lu Cheng. Occupation, a pei warrior, third rank. Level, LV-72. Life, 7,800. Magic power, 2,560. Power, 780. Agility, 142. Spirit, 256. Skills, primary blocking, tier 1, slashing, tier 1, a pei slashing, tier 2, quick step, tier 2, angry sword slashing, tier 3. Battle power, 80 stars. Third turn professional. Chen Zan's expression remained unchanged, and his gaze swept to the others again. Name, Wang Quan. Occupation, Warrior, Turn 2. Level, LV-52. Name, Wu Hong Tao. Occupation, Warrior, Turn 2. Level, LV-55. Comma, Name, Zhu Shou. Occupation, Mage, Turn 2. Level, LV-43. Name, Li Lei. Occupation, Warrior, Turn 2. Level, LV-45. Comma, 5-person team, 1-3 rank, 4-second rank, and the ranks of the 2nd rank are not low. In Frost Frost City, if such a small team is taken out, they will probably run amok, and even the city lord will give some face. Because of this, Lu Chang, who was the leader, just hugged the cupped fist. Can the Kuangtao Guild be presumptuous in the ground cat trading company? Facing Lu Cheng's self-reported family name, Lu Xiaoya did not relax at all and said, even if your president came here, you wouldn't dare to be so rampant. Hee <laughs> hee, Director Lu doesn't need to get angry. Lu Cheng smiled faintly, we are indeed here on the orders of the president to purchase a batch of frost tears. We have bought out the stocks of other stores, and only the frost tears of the cat company are left. Quote. As he spoke, he looked at Chen Zan, this gentleman must be the customer who bought a hundred copies of frost tears, right? He lightly arched his cupped hands, my Kuangtao guild wants these 100 copies, and please sell a face, I will thank you very much afterwards. Presumptuous, with a bang, Lu Xiaoya slapped the table heavily, bursting into anger. The tears of frost has already been purchased by this customer, how can there be any reason to transfer it? Someone, kick me out. Wait, seeing Lu Xiaoya's reluctance, Lu Cheng's expression also sank slightly, Director Lu, I was just asking this gentleman, does it have anything to do with the local cat company? I haven't reached a deal with my client yet, so naturally there is a relationship. Lu Xiaoya said nothing. Good. Lu Cheng also knew the importance of Damao Trading Company, but nodded and said, in this case, I can spend money to buy it from this gentleman, right? He looked at Chen Zan again. Sir, I would like to pay an additional price of 10,000 gold coins to buy these 100 copies of Frost Tears and treat it as making friends with my Kuangtao Guild. What do you think? What if I disagree? Chen Zan sat motionless on his seat and said in a flat tone. Disagree. Lu Cheng's eyes were fixed, but the smile on his face became more playful. Of course that's okay, but I'm afraid that you will lose the friendship of a fifth-tier guild. This doesn't seem like a good thing to you, does it? The implication is that if you don't agree, you are making an enemy of the Fifth Order Guild. In this Third Tier Guild, everyone is considered a boss, and Fourth Tier Guilds are rare, and Fifth Tier Guilds can almost suppress all existences. Even Lu Xiaoya, the director of the local cat company, refused to let Lu Cheng buy it, so he could tell a thing or two. Lu Cheng, please don't threaten my guests here. Lu Xiaoya took a step forward, her pretty face was icy cold. If you are stubborn, I can see that Kuangtao Guild is provoking Earth Cat Trading Company. Provocative cat, Lu Cheng smiled and waved his hands, Director Lu thinks too highly of me. We are mere Kuangtao, so we are naturally not the opponent of the cat company, but I made it very clear just now, I just want to buy frost tears from this gentleman. Really, then I can answer you for my client, don't sell, please. Sister Ya. Chen Zan raised his hand suddenly, interrupting Lu Xiaoya's support. Since the other party is a fifth-tier guild, it's not bad for me to sell it in exchange for favors. Chen Zan looked at Lu Cheng with a flat face. Lu Cheng, right, I promise to sell it to you. Mr. Chen, Lu Xiaoya was about to speak, but seeing that Chen Zan's face did not show any fluctuations, she swallowed the words again. From her point of view, 
Chen Zan with such a background couldn't possibly be interested in any Raging Waves guild. Could it be that she miscalculated? Seeing that Chen Zan actually agreed, a smug smile appeared on Lu Cheng's face. Ha ha, those who know current affairs are brilliant, this little gentleman is really smart. As he spoke, he raised his hand and handed out a card. This card contains exactly 815,000 gold coins, 800,000 as frost tears, 10,000 as the promised reward, and the remaining 5,000 as a tip. With a flick of his fingers, and with a swish, the card came out of his hand and flew towards Chen Zan. However, what was surprising was that Chen Zan didn't reach out to pick it up, but let the card fall on the carpet in front of the coffee table. Hee <laughs> hee, I think Mr. Lu has misunderstood. Chen Zan smiled, the price I promised is not 810,000 gold coins. Ha, huh, then how much do you want? The smile on Lu Cheng's face stiffened slightly. Not much, just one million. Chen Zan stretched out a finger, since your guild urgently needs these frost tears, it won't be difficult for me to earn 200,000 gold coins, right? What, you're so brave, you actually made money on our heads. Boy, your adults didn't teach you how to be a man, why don't I teach you? Dare to play tricks on our Kuangtao guild, really? The angry shouts of several team members were stopped by Lu Cheng raising his hand, the smile on his face disappeared, and he squinted at Chen Zan. Do you want to think about it again, sir? Think. Chen Zan raised his brows, and his originally indifferent face suddenly became indifferent, if you can't afford the price, then get out. You, just as the roar sounded, it was stopped by Lu Cheng. Okay, since your excellency doesn't want to do this business, then I won't force you, so leave. Hiss, who is this young man? He's so bold. At this moment, many guests on the second floor had already gathered in the corridor. The Kuangtao Guild had disputes with others, and this was something they were extremely curious about. But when they looked through the gate, they discovered that the owner of the conflict was actually a young man. Before they could inquire, they saw such an astonishing scene. It is an anecdote that a young man dared to let a member of the fifth tier guild go. What was even more unexpected was that after Chen Zan said a word, Lu Cheng of the Kuangtao Guild actually took people away. What is the origin of this young man, to scare off Kuangtao Guild? Someone looked at the figure of the Kuangtao Guild going away and couldn't help but feel puzzled. HMPH, are you really stupid or just pretending to be stupid? That's obviously not to scare you off, okay. Yeah, this boy is still too young after all. Some people shook their heads secretly and sighed. I can only blame him for being young and frivolous. If it were me, I would sell it. Anyway, not only will I not lose money, but I can also earn more than 10,000 gold coins. Why not do it? Isn't it? It's good now, I didn't make any money, and I offended the Fifth Order Guild. This guild is even more terrifying than the Wu family. I'm afraid this matter will not be left alone. The door was closed, and the discussion outside was also cut off. Liu Xiaoya bowed slightly and said apologetically. Mr. Chen, it's all my fault that I didn't take good care of them for letting them be so presumptuous. Hee <laughs> hee, Sister Ya, don't worry about it, it's just a small episode. Chen Zan smiled lightly, and said nonchalantly, our business has to continue, and I still have other things to buy. Okay, in order to express my apology, I will give you another 10% discount on Mr. Chen's order today. Liu Xiaoya said seriously, comma, when the transaction between the two was in progress, Liu Cheng and others had already arrived outside the Chamber of Commerce. Captain, are we really leaving like this? As soon as he left the door, a team member next to him became angry. HMPH, when did our Kuangtao guild suffer so much? Captain, you can't let it go like this. Yeah, I can't swallow this breath. Shut up. Liu Cheng paused slightly as he walked forward, who told you that I should forget about it? Ha, huh, Captain, you. Several team members' eyes lit up when they heard this, and they quickly looked at Liu Cheng. HMPH, after all, it's the territory of the cat company. Even if you want to do something, you have to come out and talk about it. For the sake of saying this, a few people didn't understand why, and their eyes lit up immediately. Captain, what do you mean later? A team member rubbed his hands and whispered excitedly. Since he won't sell it, we'll take it ourselves. Liu Cheng sneered, this person is not very old, but he can sit in a private room on the second floor and trade. 
there was an incomparably cold light in his eyes. In Frostwind City, anyone who opposes my Kuangtao guild will have to pay the price. Lu Cheng glanced at the door of the firm and ordered, Split your troops into two groups, and show me this cat business. As soon as he appears, follow me immediately. Yes, Captain. There were ferocious smiles on the faces of several team members. It was not the first time they had done such a thing as killing and stealing goods. In fact, such activities as killing people and seizing treasures are almost often seen in the wild. As long as it's clean enough, it's not a big deal. Comma, Sister Ya, there is no need to send her away. At the entrance of Damao Trading Company, Lu Xiaoya, who was wearing a Changsam, looked at Chen Zong worriedly. Mr. Chen, do you really need me to send someone to escort you? Before. She didn't go on, but her intention was to remind the Kuangtao Guild before. Hee <laughs> hee, Sister Ya doesn't need to worry about trivial matters. Chen Zan smiled lightly, I believe that the Kuangtao Guild is not a lawless person. If they really want to come, I will reason with them. This, well, then Mr. Chen must be careful, if necessary, you can come to my local cat business anytime. Liu Xiaoya really wanted to tell Chen Zong that reasoning should not be the style of a Fifth Order Guild, but seeing the other party's resolute attitude, she couldn't say anything else. After parting from Liu Xiaoya, Chen Zong looked at the night sky. The night is not bright tonight, even a little dark. The wind blows up from time to time, rolling up dark clouds and making the streets extremely deserted. But Chen Zong couldn't help smiling slightly when he saw this. The moon is dark and the wind is high, killing night. After whispering to himself, Chen Zan stretched out his palm, and a magic scroll emerged. This is one of the many magic scrolls he purchased at the Chamber of Commerce, mainly for the convenience of traveling. At least until he has a proper mount, the scroll works fine. It only takes a little bit of magic power to pour into the scroll, and then the scroll flashes of light, turning into a blue ring pattern covering Chen Zan's whole body. In an instant, Chen Zan felt as if his whole body was light and light. Is this the third order wind spirit pattern? It's not bad. After commenting lightly, Chen Zan's body turned into a blue gust of wind and quickly disappeared into the distance as soon as he moved his footsteps. And just as he disappeared, a figure in armor appeared at the corner of the street. Captain, that kid used a magic scroll and ran away. He shouted into the communication channel in a hurried tone. Then why are you still standing there? Chase me. Lu Cheng yelled angrily on the other side. If he wasn't sure before that the other party was bluffing, he can be sure now. Even the expensive magic scrolls have been used, so he must run away. Swish swish swish. The five figures rushed toward the direction where Chen Zan disappeared almost in no particular order. Comma. Outside the city of Frost Frost, on a hillside with jagged rocks, Chen Zan, who was dressed in black casual clothes, was walking quickly. Suddenly, he only felt a blur in front of his eyes, and a figure rushed out from behind a boulder on one side, blocking his way. Who? The sudden appearance made Chen Zan's complexion change immediately, and he couldn't help shouting softly. He turned around instinctively, but saw four figures completely surrounding him from all directions. Under the night, a light laughter sounded. He he he, Mr. Xiao, we meet again. The smile on Lu Cheng's face was full of amusement. Lu Cheng, seeing the other party, Chen Zan was taken aback for a moment, but suddenly the panic on his face disappeared, replaced by a smile. Very well, you finally caught up. Ha, huh, what do you mean by that? Lu Cheng's eyes froze, and he felt something was wrong. Shouldn't this guy pee his pants in fright? How come you can still laugh when you see yourself waiting for others? Seeing this, Chen Zan raised his hand, and a red bird and a blue striped gecko appeared out of thin air on his shoulder. He just smiled lightly when the two little guys were in place. Because I'm waiting to reason with you. Reasonable. Except for Lu Cheng, the other four couldn't help laughing. Ha ha, you actually want to reason with us. Ha ha ha. This is the funniest joke I've ever heard. Okay, good, reasonable, right. Boy, take out all the valuables on you so that I can reason with you. When everyone's laughter subsided, Lu Cheng looked at Chen Zan sternly. Boy, take out the frost tears and other valuable things, and I promise to spare your life. Don't play tricks, he added, I don't think you're very old, you probably haven't passed the second rank yet, right? 
he gestured around with his gaze, we have a total of four second turns and one third turn here. Even if you have a magic scroll, you have no chance of winning. In this world, there is no such thing as killing people and directly exploding equipment. If it wasn't for this reason, Lu Cheng might have done it directly just now. But as long as Chen Zan can be controlled, there are still many ways to get things. Odds, Chen Zan froze for a moment, then suddenly smiled and shook his head, you guys really misunderstood, I just want to be reasonable. I spent an expensive magic scroll, and came out of the city at such a late hour, just to reason with you. Do you think you should thank me? Quote, thank you. Lu Cheng looked at Chen Zan suspiciously, wondering if his mind was broken. Yes, of course I don't need too much, as long as you take out the valuable things on your body. Chen Zan said seriously, don't worry, as long as you are obedient, I will not harm your lives. How dare you, Captain, he's playing tricks on us. At this time, the crowd couldn't react, Chen Zan's reasoning was to steal their things. Swish swish swish, almost at the same time, three figures of warriors jumped up at the same time, rushing towards Chen Zan from three directions at the same time. At the same time, the only mage began to chant spells, and the intense fire elements began to gather around him, visibly condensing into a fireball the size of a human head. This is a well-trained five-member team, and years of running in have given them an extraordinary tacit understanding. As long as the fighters finish the first round of attack, the condensed fireball will inflict heavy damage on Chen Zan in the second round. When dealing with a professional who is not even a second ranker, the only thing they can worry about is how to control their strength and kill the opponent. However, just when everyone thought Chen Zan's ending was doomed, Chen Zan actually stood there motionless. He even freed his hand to touch the little teeth on his shoulder. Xiaoya stretched her neck comfortably, and then spit out a childish sentence. Ah, the moment the cry emerged, Lu Cheng, who had been quietly watching the changes, suddenly changed his expression. He could clearly feel a terrifying frost element emerging out of thin air around him. Small, chi chi chi, the voices of countless condensed frosts completely drowned out the words Lu Cheng had just uttered. I saw a series of extremely sharp ice spikes suddenly erupting from the ground. Each one is several meters long, harder than a diamond, and sharper than a blade. Puff puff. There was hardly any suspense, the figures of the three warriors were still in the air, and they had already been completely pierced by densely packed frost spikes. Even the mage who had just condensed the fireball in the distance was directly interrupted by the thrust, so that the fireball exploded directly in front of him, completely enveloping himself. Apart from the raging flames, the only thing that stood out was the screams. Hey, Captain, Captain. The only soldier who was still alive had despair and unwillingness in his eyes, and wanted to raise his hand to reach out to Lu Cheng, but in the end he just trembled in vain and died completely. Silence, silence, death-like silence. Lu Cheng stared wide-eyed, staring at the scene in front of him stiffly. He was so arrogant just now, thinking that he could completely take down Chen Zan's four teammates, so they were made into meat skewers and worn on them. This, what kind of skill is this? Lu Cheng's eyes widened, and he asked in a daze. Level 7, Ice Mass Spike. Chen Zan pampered Xiaoya's head, just now he discovered that he could actually transmit his mind to the little guy, allowing him to release the seventh level skills. Fortunately, he deliberately let Xiaoya choose the weakest skill. Otherwise, I'm afraid even this Lu Cheng will suffer. But when he saw an ice thorn piercing the sole of Lu Cheng's foot, he couldn't help shaking his head slightly and gave Xiaoya a reproachful look. Let you control it well, you almost got wiped out. Ah, Xiaoya let out a cry of grievance, and he has tried very hard to control it. Smiling and comforting the little guy, Chen Zan just looked at Lu Cheng who was a little sluggish. How, can I continue to reason? How is it possible? You, how could you possibly have a seventh level skill? Before Lu Cheng recovered from what Chen Zan said just now, he couldn't help muttering. That is a seventh level skill. He didn't see Chen Zan using any magic scrolls. But how could a professional who wasn't even level 2 release a seventh level skill? This is not important. Chen Zan smiled and shook his head. Now let's continue the topic just now. In order to reason with you, I did spend a lot of energy and gold coins, so the compensation has to continue. Of course, you can also try to resist, but I believe there will be a way to make you agree with me. 
Quote, Chen Zan touched Xiaoya while talking. With a scoff, a thorn of ice began to grow from the ground and pierced Lu Cheng's other foot without hindrance. Ah, a shrill scream sounded from Lu Cheng's mouth, but it was quickly drowned out by the strong wind in the night. Two minutes later, countless ice cones shattered into fragments and disappeared. Only five dead bodies remained. Chen Zan purposely entered Frost Frost City through the gate on the other side, and then returned to his own house. After locking the door, Chen Zan looked out through the living room window, and after confirming that no one was following him, he breathed a sigh of relief. Call. Suddenly a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Golden belt for murder and arson, that's true. Originally, Chen Zan just wanted to get rid of the other party, but the other party's words reminded him. It just so happened that he only used a little bit of the top 10 tortures in his previous life, so Lu Cheng couldn't bear to hand over everything. Chen Zan couldn't help being startled by this. In addition to the card with more than 800,000 gold coins, what surprised Chen Zan was that the other party collected as many as 400 copies of Frost Tears. The 400 Frost Tears alone are worth more than 3 million gold coins. Including the 100 copies in Chen Zan's hand, there are a total of 500 Frost Tears. If Xiaoya eats all of this, how far will it grow? Thinking of this, Chen Zan couldn't help but put Xiaoya on the coffee table, his eyes shining with hope. Xiaoya, it's up to you next. Crash. With a wave of Chen Zan's hand, the entire coffee table was filled with tears of frost. As for Tianyan's spiritual marrow, Chen Zan put it on the sofa beside him and let Xiaoyan enjoy it by himself. Xiaoyan expresses serious protest against his master's lack of attention to himself. But in the end, the protest was invalid, and we could only accept such treatment honestly. Xiaoya, who has received so much attention, naturally felt the master's expectations, and immediately started eating hard. Almost grunting, it was a bottle of frost tears. After ten bottles, Chen Zan found that Xiaoya hadn't changed at all except for a little tummy tuck. He even opened Xiaoya's attribute panel in real time to monitor changes in itself and its level. However, after twenty bottles went down, Xiaoya still didn't move. What kind of gold-swallowing beast are these? Chen Zan watched the frost tears disappear quickly, and couldn't help talking to himself with heartache. Even though he is a beast master, he can't help but lament how expensive this profession is. Just when Chen Zan thought that the 30th bottle would be in vain, Xiaoya's attribute panel level suddenly jumped, directly upgraded from LV19 to LV20. It's finally a breakthrough. Chen Zan's eyes lit up, and he finally saw a little return. And Xiaoya seems to have tasted the benefits of frost tears, and now eats it quickly. Finally, after being so profligate, its level began to increase at a speed visible to the naked eye. LV21, LV22. When there were only six bottles of frost tears left in the 500 bottles, Chen Zan finally saw that Xiaoya's level had stepped into LV30. As soon as level 30 arrived, Chen Zan suddenly heard a reminder sound in his mind. Reminder, your contract beast Frost Holy Dragon has reached level LV30, unlocking a new skill, Holy Dragon Ice Soul Slash, Forbidden Curse. What? Another forbidden spell unlocked, shock flashed in Chen Zan's eyes, he never expected that there would be such an unexpected surprise at level 30. Originally, he thought that a contracted beast with a forbidden spell was a setting in itself. But now that I think about it, Contracted beasts of mythological quality are essentially existences comparable to divine beasts. How could it be possible to comprehend only one forbidden spell? In an instant, Chen Zan felt that he had discovered a new continent. There is also an urgency to raise the level of the contracted beast. As long as it reaches LV30, it's not just as simple as adding one more forbidden spell, if the mana is enough, it can even cast two forbidden spells in succession. The improvement in this can hardly be described in words. The surprise in his mind hadn't dissipated yet, when Chen Zan suddenly heard a reminder sound again. Reminder, your contracted beast has successfully triggered God's feedback, congratulations on getting rewards, strength plus 80, agility plus 50, spirit plus 100, feedback skills, holy dragon ice soul slash, forbidden spell. Good guy, Chen Zan called him a good guy in his heart. Surprises come one after another. He thought it would be good for Xiaoya to get a forbidden spell, but he didn't expect that it could trigger God's feedback. 
let yourself get a large number of attributes again, and even a forbidden spell. Didn't it say that God's feedback can only take effect after God's gift? Chen Zhan was puzzled. Why did it trigger at LV30? He checked the introduction of God's feedback repeatedly, and finally confirmed one thing. The so-called 100% probability is not just the probability when the gift of God occurs, but when all contracted beasts are promoted, there is a probability of feedback. And when Xiaoyu reaches LV30, it is actually similar to the second turn of a professional, and it will produce a lot of improvement. It is this improvement that makes God's feedback effective. Since Xiaoya LV30 can give me feedback, what about Xiaoyan? Chen Zhan looked at Xiaoyan, and found that the other party's ingredients equivalent to a hundred copies of Tianyan's spiritual marrow had already eaten every bit of it. His own level unexpectedly increased several levels at once, reaching the level of LV23. But there is still some distance left from LV30. But Chen Zhan has already made up his mind, after going to the Shadow Python secret realm tomorrow. He will go to collect some Tianyan spiritual marrows so that Xiaoyan can continue to upgrade his level. At that time, I can also give a wave of feedback. In addition to the improvement in level, the appearance of the two little guys has finally improved significantly. First, Xiaoyan has grown a lot bigger than before, almost double the gap. And the feathers are more colorful than before, not only bright red like fire, but even with a faint light, as if it is about to burn at any time. In contrast, the changes in the small teeth that reached LV30 were even more exaggerated, not to mention the length of the arm, and the ice blue lines on the body almost covered the whole body. During his breathing, he could see faint frost spraying back and forth from his mouth and nose. It can be said that the little guy has directly turned from a small gecko into a little lizard. Seeing how powerful the two little guys are, Chen Zan nodded in satisfaction, and prepared to rest for the night, and was ready to go to the Shadow Python secret realm tomorrow to find a suitable contracted beast. At the same time, in the center of Frost Frost City, in an incomparably luxurious mansion that occupies a very large area. Patriarch Wu Tianying, who was dressed in a luxurious robe, was sitting on a bench, frowning slightly. Beside him, a beautiful middle-aged woman in a curvaceous and slim dress was sitting aside wiping tears. Wu Wu, Master, you have to let Wu Ming decide. She cried and complained. Ming Er has finally become a professional, and in the future, I will pass on your bloodline to you, and you may be able to build a powerful family if you spread your branches and leaves. But now he, Wu Wu, quote, Oh, it's all right, don't cry. The narrow cheeked Wu Tianying said helplessly, he was affected by the skills of the alien beast, and the cold air entered his body, making him unable to move, what can I do? Besides, didn't I ask the pastor to find a way for him? Quote, I know. The middle-aged beautiful woman wiped her tears and said, K. Minger can't swallow this breath, he said that if Chen Zan hadn't deliberately angered him with his words before, he wouldn't have stayed there forever. If I had left earlier, maybe nothing would happen. Quote, Chen Zan, the orphan from the Chen family. Hearing this name, Wu Tianying's eyes suddenly flashed, and the name of the Chen family appeared in his mind. It's him, the middle-aged beautiful woman said again and again, it is said that the kid has changed his job as a beast master and has no future. I thought he was pitiful, but I didn't expect this kid to have such a vicious mouth. Not only slander Ming Er, but also our Wu family. Quote. Okay, Wu Tianying stopped own Sanfang from continuing to cry, isn't it just a small professional? If the Chen family was still there before, maybe they need to think about it. It's easy now. When Lu Cheng and the others come back, I'll ask them to tie up Chen Zan. Quote. Really? Great. The eyes of the middle-aged beautiful woman lit up, and she flattered her again and again, Master, you love Ming Er the most. I am so happy. Master, why don't we play something exciting tonight? Exciting. Wu Tianying's eyes lit up when he heard that, among his many wives, this third wife is the one he likes the most. He often tinkers with new tricks that he has never seen before. But before he could speak, there was a hasty knock on the door outside the study. Boom boom boom. Patriarch, something is wrong. A figure rushed in without permission. The third aunt couldn't help but change her expression and let out angrily. Presumptuous, how dare you trespass without the permission of the patriarch. Okay, you go down. Wu Tianying stopped the third aunt's words and drove her out. After the other party left, 
Wu Tianying slowly sat up straight from the seat. Butler Wu, why are you here in such a hurry? Butler Wu's face was ugly when he heard the words, Patriarch, Lu Cheng and all the team members have lost contact. What? Lost contact? How is it possible? Wu Tianying's pupils shrank, and he exclaimed. He quickly opened the own attribute panel, searched for Lu Cheng through the address book, and found that the other party was not online. After initiating several calls in succession, the other party still did not respond at all. Seeing this, Wu Tianying couldn't help but feel a sinking heart. Lu Cheng and the others are elite members of the Kuangtao Guild. This time, the guild leader is preparing to create a top-quality piece of equipment, which needs a lot of frost tears to quench it. It is precisely because this task is very important that Lu Cheng and the others are allowed to cooperate with him. But seeing frost tears was about to arrive, but suddenly lost contact. Master, will Lu Cheng and the others take our money? Won't. Wu Tianying shook his head and interrupted the steward's guess, our Wu family's money is meant to be honored to the president. He is a third rank, so he is not so stupid. Quote, it's not that they escaped by themselves. Could it be the function guild? The butler hesitated for a moment and suddenly his expression changed. This possibility is not ruled out. Wu Tianying thought about it and stood up, quickly, send me out to look for it, if you want to see a person, if you want to see a dead body. He had to find evidence as soon as possible, otherwise he would not be able to explain to Kuangtao Guild. Two hours later, outside Yingshuang City, Wu Tianying in armor stood on a hillside with five corpses lying beside him, it was Lu Cheng and others. Many figures nearby have surrounded the place, looking for clues everywhere. Patriarch, Lu Cheng and others should have died from ice-type skills. Butler Wu bowed and said, Just now, my mage from the Wu family found out that there is a strong remnant of ice element on them. Ice-type, Wu Tianying frowned, it shouldn't be. He remembered that the entire Function Guild was dominated by Fire-type Hefung-type professionals. I haven't heard of any powerful Ice-type professionals exist yet. It's not the Function Guild, who could it be? Killing and seizing treasure. Or a life and death enemy. This is definitely not done by ordinary professionals. It is very likely that they have already set their sights on our Wu family. The Master, what should we do now? Butler Wu worried, the Kuangtao Guild will definitely ask. How will we explain it then? How to explain? Wu Tianying's eyes were gloomy and authentic, unless we can recover frost tears, otherwise, do you think our explanation can be believed? This, but, there is no clue, where can we find it? Butler Wu is in a hurry. The president of the Kuangtao Guild is a genuine rank 5 professional. Once the anger falls on the Wu family, the consequences will be unimaginable. Others may not have the opportunity, but our Wu family has it. A gleam suddenly flashed in Wu Tian's eagle eyes, and he said in a low voice, it's time to ask the ancestors to come out. What, patriarch of the Wu family? Butler Wu's complexion changed suddenly, and he let out a low cry. As an important confidant of the entire Wu family, he naturally knows that the most important trump card of the entire Wu family, apart from the Kuangtao Guild, is this old ancestor who has been hiding in the depths of the Wu family for many years. The age of this old ancestor has become a mystery, and he is even older than him. But the only thing Butler Wu knew was that this ancestor was a hidden rank 5 professional. His profession is the extremely rare blood fortune teller. Divination can be carried out by using blood as an introduction. Because of his existence, the Wu family escaped several catastrophes, and even joined the Kuangtao Guild, gaining their current power and status. It's just that this old ancestor has been trying to complete the sixth rank, so he hid in the deepest part of the Wu family. It is almost impossible for outsiders to know. Great, with the patriarch taking action, the murderer will definitely not be able to escape. Good, Wu Tianying nodded in agreement, the ancestor has never missed a shot, as long as he finds that person, he can naturally give Kuangtao Guild an explanation. Having made up their minds, everyone quickly returned to Wu's house with five corpses. Wu Tianying selected the most trustworthy confidants of the Wu family, and walked into the depths of the Wu family's ancestral house with the Wu family's housekeeper. In an ordinary courtyard with a magnificent interior, I saw the figure of an old man with white beard and hair and a celestial demeanor. I've seen my ancestors. Wu Tianying led all the Wu family members to kneel on the ground at the same time. Dressed in a green robe, 
the patriarch of the Wu family closed his eyes and meditated on the reclining chair, slowly opened his eyes, and spoke in a deep voice. Yinger, what can make your dignified patriarch so urgent? The old man's words were plain with a hint of questioning, as if he was quite dissatisfied with Wu Tianying's move. Facing the ancestor's questioning, Wu Tianying did not dare to refute at all, but hastily pleaded guilty. Report to Patriarch, the head of Kuangtao Guild ordered me the day before yesterday. Oh, when Wu Tianying finished speaking, the ancestor's expression was flat, and he just let out a light snort. Okay, let's prepare the sacrifice. It's already ready. Wu Tianying turned around and waved to his confidant, bring it up. Soon, a young girl with a panic-stricken face was pushed up by the two. Blood fortune tellers must use blood as a guide if they want to do fortune telling. It's just that this blood is not own, but from sacrifices. Over the years, the ancestors of the Wu family have figured out that the best sacrifice to increase the success rate of divination is the blood of virgin girls. Crunch. There was a soft sound of the reclining chair, and the ancestor of the Wu family slowly stood up and came to the girl. Stay away. With an order, many members of the Wu family dispersed one after another, leaving the girl where she was. Fear flashed in the girl's eyes, and she fell to her knees with a plop. Please, I beg you, let me go. I beg you, woo woo woo. Jia Jia, the original ancestor of the Wu family suddenly showed a strange smile. Don't be afraid, child, it will be over soon. There was a buzzing sound, and a strange fluctuation emerged from the ancestor of the Wu family. The next moment, his muddy eyes suddenly turned blood red. The eye-catching red light is extremely dazzling in the deep night sky. And the girl who was attracted by the light only had time to open her mouth wide, but her whole body was frozen in place, as if attracted by the bloody light, and became completely sluggish. Swish. A dagger with complicated patterns emerged out of the old man's hand. He held the handle of the knife with both hands, aimed at the position of the girl's chest and stabbed it down. Puff. The dagger pierced into the girl's chest in an instant, but strangely, no blood spattered out at all. The flowing blood actually began to seep along the dagger, spreading towards the old man's hands like bloody maggots. The moment the blood touched his hands, the old man's thin body suddenly trembled. The next moment, a light ten times more dazzling than before, burst out from his eyes. The power that exists in the blood, please listen to my call and guide me forward. An obscure incantation resounded in his mouth, and those blood-colored eyes seemed to see through the void, looking for something in the dark. Just at this time, Wu Tianying, who had been prepared for a long time, raised his hand and ejected a drop of blood remaining in Lu Cheng's body. It fell directly into the thick blood light. In an instant, the eyes of the old man seemed to be guided, and he began to search continuously in the chaotic and twisted nothingness. Through the veins of blood, he seems to penetrate the endless void, peeling away layers of fog, looking for the murderer who killed the master of blood. As long as the murderer can be seen, all his information and location will be invisible to the eyes of the blood fortune teller. Suddenly, the old man's blood eyes trembled, and then his heart was filled with joy. Found it. As soon as the voice of the ancestor of the Wu family came out, everyone around immediately became overjoyed. As expected of the ancestor, he found the murderer so quickly. Butler Wu praised him without hesitation. Of course, the ancestor's blood divination is beyond our comprehension. As long as there is enough blood, he has never missed it. I heard that this special profession can even reach the point of curse killing through the slightest clue. I also know that if the ancestor can step into the sixth rank, then my Wu family will definitely be able to go to the next level. While everyone was discussing, the blood-red eyes of the ancestor of the Wu family seemed to see a slightly blurred figure through countless bloody lights. This figure could not be seen clearly, but he knew that it was the murderer who killed Lu Cheng and others. Can't you see clearly? Is there any equipment to shield and detect? A trace of doubt appeared in the Wu family patriarch's heart, and then he snorted coldly, it's a small skill, let me break you, a sacrifice of blood. A ray of light flashed by, and everyone saw that the blood flowing from the dagger began to speed up suddenly. Ka ka ka, the girl's body, like a walking corpse, began to shrivel quickly, as if all the blood had been drained. At this time, the bloody light in the eyes of the ancestor of the Wu family also began to become more terrifying. That powerful aura made everyone admire the strength of the ancestor while looking sideways. 
Finally, under the blessing of such power, the ancestor's eyes finally saw through the mist wrapped. Just when he thought everything would appear, he suddenly discovered that in the mist, an ancient, complicated and strange rune full of chaotic atmosphere unexpectedly appeared. Ha! Huh, what is this? The old ancestor was puzzled, but before he could move, he saw that the rune was only trembling slightly. At the next moment, a misty mist erupted from one of them, completely enveloping that figure. Hum, the ancestor only felt a terrifying wave erupting from it, and subconsciously wanted to look away. But unfortunately it was too late. Hearing a bang, his originally shining eyes suddenly exploded strangely. Oh no, the ancestor only had time to let out a scream, and his whole body seemed to be drained of countless blood at once, turning into a mummy in an instant. Boom, the mummy fell straight to the ground, causing everyone in the other courtyard to fall into a dead silence. What's the situation? It was fine just now, why did the eyeball explode? And from the looks of it, the ancestor might have been completely cold. This, this, master, Butler Wu sounded a little panicked, not understanding why this happened. Walk, Wu Tianying seemed to have thought of something, his complexion changed suddenly, and he rushed out of the other courtyard as if he was running away. Seeing this, everyone followed with strange expressions. It wasn't until after leaving the other courtyard that Steward Wu tried to say. Master, this is terrible. A paleness appeared on Wu Tianying's face, and there was even a hint of fear in his tone. If we came out a little later just now, I'm afraid we will follow in the footsteps of our ancestors. What? The faces of the people changed and they exclaimed. Patriarch, didn't the ancestor just divination the murderer? How could this happen? Yes, could it be that there is a problem with the release of the ancestor's skills? HMPH, stupid. Wu Tianying snorted coldly, I don't know how many times my ancestor has done fortune telling for so many years. How have you ever seen such a mistake? That wasn't a mistake, was it? It's a backlash. Wu Tianying said solemnly, if my guess is correct, the ancestor made the murderer feel a sense during the divination, so that the other party used some method to backlash the ancestor. If I hadn't left so quickly just now, I'm afraid I would have been noticed by the other party, and then I was also locked directly. Quote. What? Air backlash. Everyone's complexion changed drastically upon hearing the words. They thought that the ancestors were able to find each other easily because of their supernatural powers, but they never expected that the other party was so terrifying. Not only did he not expose his own clues, but he killed the ancestor in the air. Master, could it be that the other party is at rank 6 or even 7? Butler Wu's guess hadn't come out yet, but Wu Tianying raised his hand and slapped him heavily on the face. Shut up, Wu Tianying almost gritted his teeth and roared, bringing up the other party rashly, do you want to be noticed by him and kill our Wu family? Yes, this old servant knows he was wrong. Butler Wu covered his face, and there was also a flash of panic in his eyes. Not only was he not angry at the patriarch, but he was even grateful. This kind of powerhouse is the most strange, even if a name is mentioned, it may be sensed by the other party. If he had just said it, he might be the first to die. Then, sir, what shall we do now? After pondering for a while, Butler Wu asked carefully. Block here, don't let anyone get close. Wu Tianying pondered, I'll report the news to the president and ask him to come and check in person. The ancestor even gave his life, he will not believe it. Quote. Comma. At the same time, at the moment when the ancestor of the Wu family died in battle, Chen Zan, who was resting, suddenly opened his eyes, and a reminder sounded in his mind. Reminder, you are being peeped by divination, and the imperial decree at the beginning of the Yuan dynasty has blocked this peep. Reminder, the backlash has been enabled by the imperial decree at the beginning of the Yuan dynasty, and the backlash is completed. Um, Chen Zan who heard the prompt suddenly came to his senses, is someone divination me? In this world, in addition to combat occupations, there are also some special occupations that are also dreadful. Divination, deduction, cursing and other methods used by professionals are almost impossible to guard against. Fortunately, this time he had the edict of the Yuan dynasty, so he directly resisted the divination this time, and even caused a backlash to the other party. I just don't know if I'm dead or not. Chen Zan began to think in his mind, who would be ready to divination own information. Could it be? It's the Kuangtao Guild, 
he had just killed the five-member team of the Kuangtao Guild, if anyone had such a motive. I'm afraid it can only be the Kuangtao Guild. It seems that I need to take a closer look at the situation of the Kuangtao Guild. Chen Zan was thinking in his mind that he would find a way to inquire about the news of the Kuangtao Guild tomorrow. Now he and the Kuangtao Guild can be regarded as a complete enmity, if the other party is really hostile to him, he doesn't mind letting Xiao Yan and Xiao Ya directly cast a forbidden curse on the other party. After a night of nothing, the next morning, Chen Zan changed into a loose black robe with a cloak on his head. Under the cover of a pair of sunglasses, he came to Wu's firm. It wasn't long before he came out again. Looking at an item that resembles a magic scroll in his hand, he secretly complained. It's no wonder that the Wu family can be ranked as the number one family in Frost-Wearing City. Isn't this secret realm pass too expensive? He didn't expect that the pass for a bronze-level secret realm would be as high as 300,000 gold coins per piece. And each Zhang Tong pass can only stay in the secret realm for two hours. If calculated according to this amount, the Shadow Python secret realm alone can harvest 3.6 million gold coins in one day. Chen Zan feels that this is more profitable than robbery. Outside the Shadow Python secret realm in the western suburbs, seeing Chen Zan dressed in a cloak mask and sunglasses, the Wu family disciples who are in charge of guarding the secret realm are not surprised at all. Pass. Give. Chen Zan handed the secret realm pass to the other party, but the other party just glanced at it and then looked away. Go in. Chen Zan took back the secret realm pass and walked towards the distant secret realm calmly. It is said to be a secret realm, but it is actually an ancient stone gate similar to a portal. The existence of the stone gate is not artificially cast, but a secret realm entrance that appears randomly after the game is invaded. As soon as Chen Zan stepped onto the steps, he felt the passport in his hand tremble slightly, and then it turned into a cloud of flying ash and disappeared. And his whole body was also enveloped by the light that bloomed on the stone gate and disappeared in place. When Chen Zan opened his eyes again, he found himself in a dark forest. Is this the Shadow Python secret realm? Different from Chen Zan's impression of the environment where the Shadow Python is hidden, there is no mud or swamp here. Just when he was wondering, notification sounds emerged one after another. Reminder, you have entered the Shadow Python secret realm, you have been affected by the secret realm, strength minus 10, agility minus 10, spirit minus 10. Hint, you felt peeping, you were discovered by the Shadow Python. A large number of Shadow Pythons are coming towards your position, and your danger is approaching. Reminder, you found the hidden mission, Dove occupies Magpie's nest, do you accept it? Hint, after accepting, you will get clue 1. The Dove occupies the Magpie's nest. There are hidden missions. This series of prompts made Chen Zan a little dazed, he only knew that almost most of the secret realms would not have hidden missions, but he did not expect to trigger them when he came in. Since it's a hidden mission, maybe the reward is also a hidden reward. Chen Zan only hesitated for a second before choosing to accept. Anyway, he was here to fight monsters and destroy contracted beasts, and he could also do tasks by the way, killing two birds with one stone. Reminder, you have accepted the hidden mission. The dark forest used to be a peaceful paradise, and all the small animals lived a stable life under the protection of the dark shadow leopard. Until the shadow pythons appeared, bloodthirsty and ferocious, they began to hunt and kill all the animals they saw. Soon there was a big battle with the shadow leopard. The result of the battle was tragic, and everything seemed to be a thing of the past. Fortunately, a beast master appeared. Clue 1, resist the pursuit of the shadow python, and find the clue 2, left by the shadow leopard. Hint, the survivor's home near Lin Nan may have the answer you want. Shadow Shadow Leopard, home of survivors. Chen Zan couldn't help twitching the corners of his mouth after hearing the mission prompt, what's all this mess? According to the requirements above, he should kill the group of shadow pythons chasing him first, and then find the survivor's house in the south. Then get clue 2, from it. It is estimated that there may be clue 3 and the like in the future. According to Chen Zan's understanding of this type of mission, at least 4 to 5 clues are needed to complete this hidden mission. Are these 2 hours enough? Chen Zan pondered for a moment and decisively chose to give up this hidden mission. For the hidden mission of the Bronze Secret Realm, how many rewards can there be? In case he didn't finish it once, the contracted beast didn't get it at that time and it was sent out as a result. 
Then I was really at a loss. Russell. A sudden sound not far away interrupted Chen Zan's thoughts. He looked into the distance and saw boa constrictors over three meters long and pitch black as ink appearing. Shadow Python. Chen Zan subconsciously opened the eye of Yuan Chu to check. Shadow Python. Race. Python. Level. LV35. Life. 2290. Magic Power. 1560. Power. 229. Agility. 394. Spirit. 156. Skills. Shadow Possession, Strangulation, Poisonous Bite. Battle Power. 42 stars. Comment. Speed and fangs are its weapons, be careful not to get close to it, if it gets close, then prepare for the funeral. Comma. This level of strength does not seem to be inferior to the tarantulas he encountered in the Tarantula Valley before, even stronger than them in terms of size and speed. Moreover, with Chen Zan's gaze sweeping, shadow pythons appeared in all directions, almost surrounding him. Even among the many shadow pythons, Chen Zan saw a large number of LV-50 and even LV-60 figures. Very strong. Therefore, Chen Zan stretched out his hand and touched the frost holy dragon Xiaoya lying on his shoulder. It's your turn, Xiaoya, just try your new skills. The new skill that was unlocked yesterday, Chen Zan has been itching in his heart, just let Xiaoya try it. Ah, although he has grown up a lot, Xiaoya's tone still has a milky tone. Hearing that it raised its small head, it activated its skills at the shadow python in front of it. Forbidden Curse, Holy Dragon Ice Soul Slash. Invisibly, countless ice elements frantically gathered in the void above Xiaoya's head, silently turning into a huge phantom of the Frost Holy Dragon. This phantom is different from the previous Holy Dragon burial in the ice world. It looks crystal clear, but it is like an illusion. This is Dragon Soul. As soon as the Dragon Soul emerged, it quickly disintegrated like ice melting and snow melting. The next moment, countless, the icy blade like a moon blade swept in all directions. Swish swish swish. All the shadow pythons broke under this terrifying ice soul blade like cutting wheat. The incision was smooth and flat, and countless icy breaths began to bloom, turning the opponent into an ice sculpture in a blink of an eye. Holy Dragon Ice Soul Slash can be used as a group or as a single skill to attack. At this moment, the blade-like icicle ripples continued to spread towards the entire secret realm-like ripples. The entire secret realm was completely enveloped almost instantly. The continuous beeps also completely refreshed the screen at the same time. Reminder, you killed the Shadow Python LV35, gained experience value plus 1-8, contracted beast experience value plus 4. Reminder, you killed the Shadow Python LV55, Gained experience value plus 26, contracted beast experience value plus 8. Hint, you killed Shadow Python LV58. Hint, you killed Shadow Python LV56. Comma. Hint, you killed the little white pig in the survivor's house. Hint, you killed the little squirrel in the survivor house. Hint, you destroyed the clue token. Comma. Hint, you killed the Shadow Python leader LV70. Reminder, congratulations on completing the hidden mission killing the leader of the shadow python, and regaining the territory, you will get the reward, upgraded twins. Reminder, the secret realm is permanently destroyed, the estimated crash time is 10 minutes, and the countdown begins. What? Permanent destruction. Chen Zan was still immersed in the fact that he had completed the hidden mission by coincidence, but when he suddenly heard the news that the secret realm was permanently destroyed, he was a little dazed. This secret realm is too fragile, right? A forbidden spell was permanently destroyed. After checking the message list several times, he was finally sure that he had heard correctly. The secret realm couldn't bear the power of his forbidden spell, and was permanently destroyed. What is permanence? To put it simply, after he leaves, the gate of the secret realm will completely collapse and disappear from the world. At that time, the Wu family will completely lose a cash cow, and the loss is not enough to describe it. For this, Chen Zan could only feel regretful from the bottom of his heart. Besides, the only thing he could do was to collect all the gains from this trip as soon as possible, and then leave here. Ten minutes was not enough time for him to count the spoils slowly. Simply Chen Zan waved his hand and put away all the items that fell in front of him. Then he took the initiative to end the countdown to the pass. Hum. The white light appeared to wrap Chen Zan's body completely, 
and then he became transparent like ripples, disappearing in an instant. Just minutes after Chen Zan disappeared. Let me ask you, how long will it take for the one in front to come out? A warrior professional asked with a humble smile on his face. The members of the Wu family who were sitting there said casually without even raising their eyelids. What's the hurry? Didn't I tell you to wait? Why so much nonsense? Hee <laughs> hee, yes, you are right, we are waiting. Although the middle-aged soldier was dissatisfied, he dared not speak out. This is the gold coin that he and a few friends gathered together to buy the secret realm pass this time. The purpose is to have a good fight inside. If two mounts can be exploded, then this trip will not be in vain. Although the attitude of the Wu family is not good, but after all, this secret realm is scarce, and the middle-aged fighters dare not say anything more, but after saying hello to their teammates behind them, they stood still and continued to wait. But after a while, suddenly a muffled sound came from a distance, and the middle-aged soldier subconsciously looked up, his eyes widened in disbelief. That, that, look. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by dissatisfaction from the Wu family members, what are you looking at? Didn't I tell you to wait? Talk nonsense with me again, and you won't enter next time. Quote. No, no, look at that stone gate. The middle-aged soldier and the team members behind him showed shock and raised their fingers not far away. Seeing this, the members of the Wu family turned their heads subconsciously, and also looked at the portal. Seeing this, he suddenly stood up from his seat in fright, and opened his mouth wide enough to stuff an egg. This this, I saw a crack actually appearing from the huge stone gate, and the stone gate was densely covered almost in the blink of an eye. In the astonished eyes of everyone, there was a sudden bang and it exploded. The gate of the secret realm, is it broken? The same question popped up in everyone's mind. The gates of the secret realm have collapsed, so is the secret realm still there? What a fart! The Wu family members who were in charge of guarding immediately turned pale, and their entire body was drenched in cold sweat. Oops, something big happened, something big happened. The members of the Wu family who were still arrogant just now ran towards the Wu family like crazy. It's not good, it's not good, patriarch. In the Wu family mansion, Wu Tianying, the worried patriarch of the Wu family, was sitting on a chair in his study, frowning and thinking. Suddenly, Steward Wu's panicked shout came from outside. What happened again? Wu Tianying frowned and asked. Ha, huh, come out, something big happened. Butler Wu was out of breath from running, and said while holding on to the door frame. HMPH, what's the big deal? Wu Tianying snorted coldly, in his opinion, nothing could make him more anxious than the fall of the ancestor. Cheng, Chungan, the Shadow Python secret realm forever, collapsed. He he. Isn't it just that the Shadow Python secret realm has collapsed? What? What did you say? Permanent. Wu Tianying's cold sneer sounded just now, but he suddenly realized that something was wrong, and suddenly stood up from his seat, with a hint of disbelief in his voice. That's right, my lord, news just came that Shadow Python's secret realm has collapsed permanently for unknown reasons. Butler Wu said with snot and tears. The old slave went to see it in person just now. It's really broken. The portal is broken into pieces of broken stones. Shadow Python Secret Realm, broken. Wu Tianying felt that his eyes were in a trance, as if he couldn't believe that all this was true. With a pop, a mouthful of reverse blood spurted out from his mouth, and he fell down on the chair in an instant. Master, Butler Wu exclaimed, and hurried over to check. The ancestor is dead, and the secret realm is shattered, so, is it that the sky is going to kill my Wu family? There was a miserable smile on the corner of Wu Tian's eagle mouth, the Wu family was his painstakingly managed business, if it collapsed like this, he would be the first person who couldn't accept it. Master, you have to cheer up. The Wu family is in turmoil now, and the president of the Kuangtao Guild will visit someday, and you are still required to host it. Butler Wu tried hard to persuade. President. As if thinking of something, Wu Tian's hawk eyes recovered a little. Yes. When the president comes here, we can use this opportunity to force the Mu family to marry us. Marriage. Butler Wu was taken aback for a moment. Good. Wu Tianying propped himself up with both hands, frowning and thinking. Mu Shui from the Mu family is said to be the only one with a special profession in number. One middle school. It is foreseeable that after the college entrance examination, she will definitely be favored by the high-ranked guild. 
The Wu Tian Eagle seemed to have discovered the breakthrough. If you can make her the daughter-in-law of my Wu family, maybe my Wu family can rely on a big tree, and maybe I can join the 6th level guild or even the 7th level guild. 7th step. Hearing this, Butler Wu took a breath, and then showed ecstasy, the master's plan is wonderful. But that girl seems to have always looked down on Wu Ming young master, maybe she wants to agree to a marriage. HMPH, what's the use of that trash? Mentioning this son, Wu Tianying became furious, of course I want Fung'er to come back as soon as possible. He's a bit older, but he's still a third-rank professional, plus the Mu family's debts, and the chairman is putting pressure on me, and I don't believe that the Mu family won't submit. As Wu Feng young master, Steward Wu's eyes flashed. This Wu Feng is the eldest son of the Wu family. He is 25 years old this year. He is a rank 3 fighter professional and is currently working in a third tier guild in other places. If he is invited back, he can barely match up with that Mu Shui. Butler Wu, it's not too late. You should contact Funger quickly and ask him to come back as soon as possible. Yes, Patriarch, comma, at the same time, Chen Zan naturally didn't know that the Wu family had become a mess. When he left the secret realm, he was teleported out randomly. As soon as he appeared, he used a magic scroll to leave the place quickly. However, Chen Zan did not go home, but rushed further outside the city. After running for dozens of miles, he took off his robes and burned everything including his mask. Afterwards, he changed direction and continued on for dozens of miles before returning to Frost Wearing City by detour. The reason for doing so is actually out of prudence. After all, he just broke someone's secret realm, and if the other party came to him, he might have to reason again. He is not afraid of reasoning, but at this stage Chen Zan thinks that he is not strong enough, so it is better to hide it if he can. By the time he rushed home all the way, it had turned from day to evening. Looking at the time, Chen Zan temporarily stopped other plans, and prepared to take stock of the harvest of the secret realm this time. Moreover, he hadn't had time to see the rewards of the hidden mission in the previous reminder. After locking the door, Chen Zan sat on the sofa, and with a thought, he took out all the gains. Swish it, the living room, which was tens of square meters in size, piled up like a mountain in an instant and was completely filled. And when Chen Zan saw the rays of light that were even brighter than before, he couldn't help but gasp. Ha ha, I'm rich again. Looking at the mountain of harvest, Chen Zan couldn't help but burst into laughter. This is a bronze secret realm, and it is also a special secret realm that can produce mounts. As long as you tidy it up, you will definitely gain more than Tarantula Valley. Kai of Shadow Python's Revenge Bronze. Category. Armor. Basic Effects. Strength plus 5-0, Agility plus 8-0, Spirit plus 5-0. Durability. 50-50. Level Requirement. LV-30. Additional Effect. Shadow Shelter, hiding in the shadow for more than 3 seconds, can trigger the Concealment Effect, temporarily invisible, move or release skills to reveal. Comma. Evil Fang Necklace Bronze. Category. Accessories. Basic Effect. Magic Power Value plus 200, Spirit plus 200. Durability. 50-50. Level Requirement. LV-30. Additional Effect. After wearing it, the cost of skill release is reduced by 2%, and magic power value recovery plus 3 per second. Comma. Black Pattern Dagger, Bronze. Category. Weapon. Basic Effect. Strength plus 2-0, Agility plus 30. Durability. 50-50. Level Requirement. LV-30. Additional Effects. Evasion, distortion effect on the trajectory when attacking, difficult to lock penetration, passively reduces the target's armor by 10 points. Wanderer's Backpack, Bronze, Category, Package, Comma, Sword of the Rebel, Bronze, Comma, Ring of Tranquility, Black Iron, Comma, In addition to more than 10 pieces of bronze level equipment, there are 30 or 40 pieces of black iron level equipment alone. Of course, these are not the key points for Chen Zan. The important thing is that in front of him are the strange beast eggs shining with light. Shadow Python Alien Beast Egg, Bronze. Category. Mount. Exotic Beast Level. LV-30. Contract Requirements. LV-30. Comma. Shadow Python Alien Beast Egg, Bronze. Category. Mount. Exotic Beast Level. LV-33. Contract Requirements. LV-30. 
Shadow Python Alien Beast Egg Bronze Category Mount Exotic Beast Level LV35 Contract Requirements LV30 Comma Chen Zan glanced around with the eye of Yuanchu and found that there were hundreds of them. This kind of alien beast egg marked with a mount is not the same as that of a contracted beast. The link can only be established through the exclusive contract of the mount. And that kind of contract conflicts with the god's contract used by Chen Zan. But even so, even if Chen Zan didn't use it himself, he would definitely be able to make a lot of money by selling so many mount eggs in a business store. One must know that even the most common LV-30 Shadow Python mount would cost at least 100,000 gold coins in a business store. There are hundreds of them here, which is an astronomical figure of tens of millions of gold coins. In comparison, even the most expensive skill books are far inferior. Ah, when Chen Zan was immersed in the joy of counting the harvest, Xiaoya suddenly called out next to him. Grabbing Chen Zan's shoulder with his own little paw, rubbing his little tongue against his neck. What's the matter, Xiaoya, are you hungry? Chen Zan pampered it, but Xiaoya shook his head. Ah, chirp. At this time, Xiao Yan, who landed on the beam of the living room, seemed to have discovered something, and flew over excitedly, and landed directly on the biggest strange beast egg. Um, seeing this scene, Chen Zan suddenly remembered that he had rewarded him with a strange beast egg after completing the hidden mission. Is this the upgraded twin? Chen Zan put the oversized alien beast egg the size of a watermelon in front of him, showing a look of doubt. This strange beast egg is completely different from the Shadow Python's strange beast egg. The left side of it is pitch black, with complex patterns on it, which looks extremely deep, while the other side is actually all pure white, with layers of silver patterns on it. It was the first time Chen Zan had seen such a strange beast egg. Could it be that there are some powerful beasts in it? With doubts, Chen Zan slapped it without hesitation, and suddenly the whole beast egg clicked, and cracks began to appear. Out of caution, Chen Zan didn't even directly use the god's contract, but asked Xiaoyan and Xiaoya to be on guard at the same time, and if the strange beasts that rushed out threatened him, he would directly let them take action. Ka ka ka. As the crack continued to spread, there was a sudden crash, and the beast egg shattered directly. At the same time, the scene inside also emerged. Two cute figures like kittens opened their own eyes hazily. And the first thing they saw was Chen Zan. Meow. Meow. The two kittens gave a childish cry, turned over from the inside, climbed out of the eggshell, and rushed towards Chen Zan. Meow. Meow. Chen Zan stretched out his palms to stop them, but they stretched out their pink tongues and began to lick their palms, as if they were acting like a baby with their mother. Here, are these two cats out? Chen Zan felt the heat and humidity coming from his palm, and couldn't help feeling a little helpless. He thought that the reward for the hidden mission would be a majestic shadow panther. But it turned out to be just two kittens. Wait, isn't the shadow panther black? I can understand this one, so why is this white with silver lines? Silver gradient, and the black one is not pure black, is it? There are also white lines inside, like a black gradient. The upgraded twins are double gradients. Chen Zan just wanted to complain, but suddenly discovered that words appeared one after another on the broken eggshell. Brave Beast Master, thank you for helping me kill the Shadow Python leader and restore the peace of the forest. These are the two cubs I gave birth to just before death, probably because of their father, their bodies have been upgraded and no longer resemble the Shadow Panther. I think they are no longer fit to stay here. I implore you to keep them. Is it the Shadow Panther who was killed by the leader of the Shadow Python? Chen Zan looked at these words that were gradually drifting away, and quickly connected all the places that he had some doubts about before. According to the plot of this secret realm, it should be when the Shadow Python attacked, and the gloomy Shadow Leopard had just given birth to two little ones. He was besieged by the Shadow Python under his own huge consumption, so he died here. Before dying, it sealed the two little guys into a strange beast egg, hoping that someone could take them out of here. And Chen Zan triggered the hidden mission here because of his status as a beast master. Others can't trigger it without a beast master. So now the question is, whether Chen Zan, the cubs left behind by these two shadow leopards, wants to make a contract. This made him ponder. Chapter 31 Chen Zan didn't rush to make a decision, but first checked the attributes of the two little guys. Dark Shadow Leopard Silver Race 
Leopard, Level, LV10, Life, 1150, Magic Power, 1820, Power, 153, Agility, 237, Spirit, 182, Skills, Agility and Swiftness Tier 2, Shadow Control Tier 3, Battle Power, 20 Stars, Comment, it was originally a Shadow Leopard, but it inherited some of its father's characteristics, so that it became even darker. Nice, Chen Zan, who saw this attribute panel, couldn't help but let out a sigh of admiration, thinking back then that his first contracted beast, the Red Firebird, was the bottom of the pure Black Iron class. But now, the Black Gradient in front of him was born with a level of LV-10, and his quality actually broke through the bronze shackles, becoming a silver level existence. This made Chen Zan understand that the little guy is really not bad as a reward for hidden missions. Besides, this reward is not just a black gradient, but also a silver gradient. Chen Zan looked at the silver gradient. The little guy looked similar to the black gradient, but he was obviously bigger than him when he was born. The pure white hair on the whole body is mixed with silver gray lines, which is really beautiful. Chen Zan also checked its properties panel. Gengjin Snow Tiger, Silver. Race, Tiger, Level, LV-12, Life, 1150, Magic Power, 1820, Power, 309, Agility, 237, Spirit, 279, Skills, Gengjin Claw, Tier 2, Roaring Roar, Tier 3, Battle Power, 30 Stars, Comment, It was not the Shadow Leopard in the first place, but because it mainly inherited the characteristics of its father, it became stronger. Gengjin Snow Tiger. When Chen Zan heard this name, he couldn't help showing surprise. This kind of strange beast is a rare silver level beast. Unexpectedly, this silver gradient is actually a little tiger. Could it be that their father is a Gengjin Snow Tiger? Chen Zan guessed that this might be the case. The Gengjin Snow Tiger passed by the forest and had a dewy marriage with the Shadow Leopard, but it just left. Unexpectedly, the Shadow Leopard had two babies. Who? Scumbag. Silently complaining about this irresponsible father, Chen Zan couldn't help withdrawing his thoughts. It stands to reason that he wanted to choose a LV-30 contracted beast to try. After all, once successful, the original level will not only remain unchanged, but will continue to increase. This can save a lot of resources. But now, with the two little guys looking at him eagerly, Chen Zan suddenly hesitated. Say give up, he is still a little bit reluctant. Say don't give up, I still have a little regret. After pondering for a long time, Chen Zan finally made a decision. You two are ready, if the contract is successful, then follow me in the future. Chen Zan still didn't have the heart to leave them alone. After all, it would take time to find a suitable contracted beast, and the contract might not be successful. Meow, meow, the two little guys stuck out their tongues and licked Chen Zan as if they understood what he said. Okay. One by one, Chen Zan smiled and comforted, and at the same time directly activated the contract of God. Reminder, the contract is successful, congratulations on getting a new contract beast. Done, Chen Zan smiled as expected, and activated the God's contract again. Reminder, the contract is successful, congratulations on getting a new contract beast. Both contracts are used up which means that Chen Zan's quota of contracted beasts in the second turn stage has been completely used up. In this regard, Chen Zan's face didn't fluctuate too much, feeling the close connection with the two little guys, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Don't worry, two little girls, this is the first step of your transformation, and there is still the most important step. Gently rubbing the heads of the two little guys, Chen Zan just opened the skill panel, and directly sent a shot at each of them, a gift from God. Hum, Hey Gradient was the first to feel the strengthening of the gift, and his petite body began to grow, almost turning into a slender cat with the length of a forearm in the blink of an eye. The black hair is dark and shiny, mixed with light-colored lines in the middle, which looks deep and psychedelic. On the other side, the bigger silver gradually grew more obviously, growing from a newborn kitten to the size of an orange cat like a big foodie. It's just that its whole body is pure white like snow, with almost no variegated color visible, and the silver ripples like tiger stripes are evenly distributed all over its body. Rather than a cat, it might as well be a thriving cerebellar axe. Ah, the transformed cerebellar axe let out a low growl, 
which actually brought out the sound of a tiger roaring, making Chen Zan couldn't help covering its mouth with his hand. It's midnight, and he's afraid of being complained by his neighbors for disturbing the people. Chirp, ah, Xiaoya and Xiaoyan approached almost at the same time, because they clearly felt that the two little guys had the same aura as them. That's right, it's the breath of the mythical contracted beast. Before that, the two just glanced at each other out of curiosity. But it's different now. The two little guys after transformation have become the same existence as them. Enough to be taken seriously. Ah, since we are all a family, let me introduce you first. Chen Zan suppressed his desire to check the attribute panel and said to the two little guys. This is Xiao Yan, who is considered the eldest, and this is Xiao Ya, who is the second child. The two of you are the third and fourth child. As he spoke, he thought for a while, how about this, you will be called Xiaoying in the future, and you, the snowy white, will be called Xiaoshui. Meow, meow, after hearing this, Xiaoying yelled softly, stood on the table and raised her head a little sunere, as if to say that I have a name. As for Xiaoshui, she jumped from the table to the sofa at once, jumping up and down like a joy. Hearing a snort, it was so excited that it directly tore Chen Zan's leather sofa in half. Quote dot 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 quote. Chen Zan was speechless. Is this a tiger or a husky? If it was before, he might be furious because of this, but it is different now. After dealing with this batch of things, Chen Zan felt that he could be among the ranks of multi-millionaires. Even consider whether to change to a detached villa to improve the conditions. In this way, the four little guys can also have their own space. Shaking his head, Chen Zan temporarily suppressed these thoughts, but hastily opened the property panels of the two little guys. In an instant, two attribute panels that have undergone earth-shaking changes appeared. Phantom Panther, Myth, Race, Leopard, Level, LV20, Life, 419,000, Magic Power, 548,000, Power, 419, Agility, 672, Spirit, 548, Skills, Shuttle of Shadows, Level 7, Master of Shadows, Level 8. The Shadow of the Phantom God, Forbidden Curse. Battle Power, 71 Stars. Evaluation, It comes from the Shadow Abyss, either it is swallowed by the Abyss, or it swallows the Abyss, fortunately, it did it. The Ultimate Sublimation from the Shadows. Chen Zan just glanced at the panel and almost got the general idea. After all, this is not the first time he has used the gift of God, and he has somewhat speculated about the transformation of this gift. Sure enough, after the transformation of the gloomy shadow leopard, it almost released the control of all shadows to the extreme. It is far from the level of manipulation that can only use shadows to hide the figure before, but a terrifying existence that can use shadows as weapons. On the other hand, the transformation from Xiaoshui caused Chen Zan's complexion to change, showing shock. Holy Beast White Tiger Myth Race Tiger Level LV15 Life 716,000 Magic Power 699,000 Power 716 Agility 653 Spirit 699 Skills Gengjin Slashing the Sky Tier 8 Roaring of the Holy Beast Tier 9 White Tiger Killing the World Forbidden Curse Battle Power 85 stars. Comment. The transformation from the bloodline gives it the legendary power, one of the four saints, in charge of killing, don't ask, just do it. Hiss. Chen Zan couldn't help but widen his eyes in surprise when he saw this panel, holy beast, white tiger. He glanced at Xiao Shui who was still busy tearing down the house, and felt a little unacceptable. Just this one, white tiger, he didn't want to admit it at first but not to mention the attributes on the panel that are obviously much stronger than Xiaoying, and the almost clear confirmation given in the evaluation, he had to admit it. This product is White Tiger. It took a full five minutes for Chen Zan to finally accept this mysterious fact, and then a deep ecstasy welled up in his heart. I feel that I really didn't make a wrong decision this time, if it wasn't for Xiao Shui's own specialness, she wouldn't have transformed into a holy beast White Tiger when she was gifted. With the addition of these two little guys, it is equivalent to two more forbidden curses for no reason. Moreover, from the white tiger's attributes, Chen Zan can see that in addition to the forbidden curse, once it grows up, 
its physical body can carry a powerful Gengjin Qi, making it invincible in melee combat. If I can get all the four holy beasts together, wouldn't I take off on the spot? Before he knew it, Chen Zan began to fantasize about the wonderful picture of himself stepping on four great saint beasts and pushing everything horizontally. But when he saw Xiao Shui who had completely disassembled the sofa, Chen Zan suddenly came back to his senses. This step seemed to be a long way to go. Snapped. He suddenly slapped his forehead, and he was too busy looking at the two contracted beasts, and forgot what he gave back. So he quickly opened the own property panel. Name. Chen Zan. Occupation. God of Mythology. Turn 2. Level. LV60. Life. 525,000. Magic power. 1,005,000. Power. 525. Agility. 478. Spirit. 1005. Skills. God's contract. God's gift. God's feedback. God's blessing. Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame Forbidden Curse Ice Realm Holy Dragon Burial Forbidden Curse Eye of the Beginning of Yuan Dynasty Edict of the Beginning of Yuan Dynasty Holy Dragon Ice Soul Slash Forbidden Curse Phantom Shadow Stab Forbidden Curse White Tiger Extermination Forbidden Curse Contract Beasts Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix Frost Holy Dragon Phantom Panther Holy Beast White Tiger Battle Power 100 Stars Available Attribute Points 200. When did I reach full level again? The first time Chen Zan saw the panel, he couldn't help but swear. Because this level really caught him off guard. He remembered that he had just upgraded to LV40 not long ago. Why in the blink of an eye, it became LV60 directly? Wait for a while, let me recall. Chen Zan quickly stopped his looking down, and began to think about when he reached the full level. Soon, he suddenly discovered that he should have reached full level directly after the forbidden spell destroyed the Wu family's secret realm. At that time, due to time constraints and too many reminder messages, he didn't have time to check it. As soon as he came out, he started going around in circles non-stop, and he didn't even pay attention to his full level. How long did it take me to reach LV60? Three days or two. Chen Zan suddenly realized that less than three days had passed since his job change, and he was already facing the problem of changing jobs three times. In fact, the reason why it took so long was mostly due to Chen Zan's own delay, and the total time for spawning monsters was probably less than 10 minutes. Hiss. Chen Zan took a light breath, feeling a little shocked by himself. If this upgrade speed is spread, not to mention scaring a few professionals to death, at least a large number of people will rush over to study him in slices. Suddenly, a strong sense of crisis welled up in my heart. Although my attributes are a bit exaggerated, they are at most equivalent to about LV80, but the three-dimensional support is relatively high. Chen Zan looked at the property panel and began to calculate quickly. The magic power value now has the bonus of God's blessing, and it has reached the 100 mark, which means that I can cast forbidden spells twice. As he spoke, he glanced at the four little guys who had already gotten to know each other well. Xiaoya can cast forbidden spells twice, Xiaoyan once, Xiaoying and Xiaoshui once, plus mine can release a total of seven forbidden spells. Logically speaking, the seven consecutive forbidden curses are already a very terrifying combat power for Chen Zan. But he frowned and thought for a moment and couldn't help shaking his head. No, no, the cooling time of each forbidden spell is nearly 10 hours. Even if I cast the forbidden spell once an hour, it can only last for 7 hours at most, and there is still a vacuum period of 3 hours. Chen Zan knew that the four little guys still had 8th level and 9th level skills that could be used. But what if the opponent is very strong? What's the use of ordinary skills if even forbidden spells can't kill them? What if the opponent has 7 or 8 life saving props or resurrection scrolls? As long as you give the other party a chance, I am afraid that you will fall into an extremely dangerous situation. I'm a beast master with low health, low defense, and slow movement speed. Chen Zan glanced at it. He only had 520,000 HP, so he felt unsafe. The two little guys also gave him feedback on two forbidden spells just now, but unfortunately he only has two rounds of mana, and no amount of forbidden spells can be released. Moreover, as a trump card, Chen Zan would not easily cast the forbidden spell by himself. With this in mind, 
Chen Zan immediately began to list plans for himself to become stronger in the future. Complete the third turn and increase the level of the contracted beast. It would be great if I can get some equipment that reduces the cooling time. Chen Zan thought about it, and soon found his next direction. After resting for the night, he plans to go to the job transfer temple to receive the job transfer task early tomorrow morning, and then go to the ground cat business to sell the harvest. The three-bedroom apartment Chen Zan lives in has been largely demolished by Shaoshui except for the bedrooms. The furniture was broken, the sofa was broken and the wallpaper on the walls was chipped. When he woke up, seeing this scene also felt a little dark in his eyes. Just about to reprimand Shaoshui, she found Shaoshui hugging Ohn's thigh wrongly and meowed. What, you just moved lightly and it shattered. Chen Zan speculated that it might be because the little guy's strength had skyrocketed too much and he couldn't control it well for a while. But why is Xiaoying fine? Chen Zan looked puzzled at Xiaoying who was squatting aside and licking his paw. Meow, Xiaoying Sunere raised her head, she wants to remain a lady, so naturally she can't be like her. Sighing helplessly, Chen Zan has already put on the agenda the plan to live in another place. After a brief freshening up, he changed into cool casual clothes and was ready to go out. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning, the big sister of the job-changing temple should not be lazy. Thinking of this, Chen Zan subconsciously opened the door. However, as soon as it was opened, a graceful figure appeared at the door of the room. This figure has long ice blue hair, wearing a light-colored slim dress, revealing a section of white and smooth calf underneath, and a pair of strappy sandals on her jade-like suet feet. The ten lollipop-like crystal-clear toes trembled slightly uneasily. Mu Shui, why are you here? Chen Zan didn't expect that he ran into an acquaintance just as he was about to go out in the morning. No, this is obviously to wait for own. Chen, Chen Zan. When Mu Shui saw Chen Zan, she couldn't help but blush on her pretty face. She had been standing in front of the door for almost ten minutes, and she still didn't muster up the courage to knock on the door. Unexpectedly, Chen Zan came out on his own initiative. What's up? Chen Zan looked at her suspiciously. I, I want you to come to my birthday party. Birthday party. Chen Zan froze for a moment, then asked in surprise, are you 18 so soon? Quote dot 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 quote. Mu Shui paused, but still couldn't help correcting, no, yes, 17. Oh, I've been busy recently. Chen Zan hesitated, I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. As he said that, he stretched out his hand to close the door of Own's room and walked towards the stairs with strides. He and Mu Shui did have a good relationship before, but after so many years, Chen Zan is now focused on how to become stronger, so naturally he is unwilling to participate in this kind of gathering. Hey, Chen Zan, you, don't go. Seeing this, Mu Shui trotted along and followed, we haven't seen each other for a long time. This time, after the college entrance examination is over, we may have to go to a different guild. At that time, I don't know when we will see each other again. Seeing Chen Zan's leaving figure, she unconsciously uttered the words she had accumulated for many years in her heart. This is my last birthday in Yingshuang City, they invited many people, those from the Wu family, the Li family, and the Zhang family. But I don't want them at all. The only person I want to be there is you. Quote, these almost confessional words made Mu Shui's trembling legs clamp tightly, and her eyes became dazed. Vaguely, she seemed to see the scene where she accidentally fell into the water ten years ago, and Chen Zan desperately jumped in to rescue her. Take her to the shore, give yourself CPR, artificial respiration. Just as she was in a daze, she suddenly saw the walking figure stop. He stopped. God, he must have heard how I feel about him, right? So does he like me? What if you want to reject me? What do I do? My heart beats so fast. Well, you just said that people from the Wu family will also go. Ah, oh, ah, Mu Shui never expected that what Chen Zan was asking was not herself, but the Wu family. She froze for a moment, then nodded quickly and said, yeah. I didn't want to think about it at first, but my father insisted on being more lively, saying it was to bless me. If you don't like it, I can refuse the Wu family to participate in this. No, no, that's not what I meant. Chen Zan quickly waved his hands, a smile appeared on his face, okay, 
since we are all friends, how can I refuse your invitation? Time and place, I will be there. Quote, when he didn't hear that the Wu family would appear before, he actually didn't want to go. But since the Wu family participated, it was different. Chen Zan had just destroyed someone's secret realm, and someone had deduced and divined him. All of this is very likely to be related to the Wu family and the Kuangtao Guild. He originally wanted to go directly to the vicinity of Wu's house to inquire about the news, but it was too eye-catching after all, and someone who cared would be able to find out that something was wrong with him. Well now, with this birthday party, there is no problem for him to attend it. At that time, you can take a good look at the situation of the Wu family and see if you are found. He also needs to know about the situation of the Kuangtao Guild. Miu Shui naturally didn't know that Chen Zan wanted to attend her birthday party to find out news. On the contrary, he was so excited that he almost jumped up. Okay, then I'll send it to you in a while, shall we see you at 8 o'clock tonight? Must, Chen Zan waved his hand and left directly. After parting with Miu Shui, Chen Zan came to the job-changing temple. As soon as he opened the door, he saw the nun big sister dozing there. Judging from her slightly smoky face, I am afraid that last night must have been crazy. The nun big sister didn't sleep, but was bored chatting with the newly added licking dogs in the address book. She is the most experienced in dealing with this kind of dog licking, and they only need to reply one, and they will be excited for a long time. Hearing the door open, she instinctively looked up, and when she saw Chen Zan, her eyes lit up immediately. Little big brother, why are you here? It's nothing, I'll take the mission. Chen Zan smiled, you have to go to the mission hall to accept the mission, come to me. Hiss, no way, are you ready for the third turn? The nun big sister had just spoken halfway, but suddenly her eyes widened in shock. How long has it been? Is this big guy going to turn three? What kind of background can make people take it so quickly? With a swish, she quickly stood up, trying to keep a professional smile on her face. It was not because of anything else, but because she found that Chen Zan's performance was no longer something she could touch. No, even if she caused the other party's dissatisfaction even a little bit, I'm afraid she would be silently obliterated. Even the nun big sister has imagined the horrible scene of her being dragged away and killed in the wild, and her body destroyed. Okay, sir, you only need to level up a few missions before you can go in. Chen Zan took a weird look at the nun big sister whose attitude had suddenly become more respectful, nodded lightly, and registered. Then he pushed open the door of the job-changing temple and walked in. The three-turn mission has begun. Reminder check that you have entered the job transfer temple, the current level is LV60, do you want to start the job transfer task? The first prompt appeared, Chen Zan glanced at it and nodded directly. Yes. Reminder congratulations to the job changer for starting the third job transfer task, please select the task difficulty. Easy difficulty, moderate difficulty, difficulty of difficulty, maddening difficulty, desperate difficulty, it is not difficult for humans to complete. Different job transfers, same difficulty selection. Before Chen Zan challenged the sixth level difficulty, the reward he received was indeed double the attributes. But this time, the difficulty is not marked with any increase in rewards. Blind box, Chen Zan fell into contemplation looking at these difficulties, but this kind of contemplation did not last long, and he directly chose the difficulty that no human can complete. The main reason for this choice is because of the reward, and secondly, with the experience of completing the mission last time, Chen Zan feels that he is not worth the curse with the forbidden spell in hand. Prompt you have chosen a difficulty that cannot be completed by humans, are you sure? I really feel like you're scolding me, but I have no proof. Chen Zan complained helplessly, and continued, yes. Reminder you have accepted the third job transfer task, Storm Trek. Task name, Storm Trek. Mission introduction, the ancient ocean is vast, hiding endless mysteries waiting to be explored. Among them, what countless adventurers talk about is the beautiful singing of the legendary mermaid princess. Tips This task is a staged task, which is divided into three stages. Phase 1 – Build a long-distance warship 1. Phase 2 – Looking for the secret realm, the lost ancient mermaid city gold level. Phase 3 – Help the mermaid princess to complete the goal. Mission time – 1 month. Current stage – Stage 1. 
Task objective, how can a high quality warship be without the help of perfect materials? Please collect the following materials to complete the task. Blood stained cold iron, level 5, asterisk 100. Purple golden vine, 5th order, asterisk 100. Heel wood, 5th order, asterisk 100. Black lacquer leather, 5th grade, asterisk 100. Tianhe jade, 5th order, asterisk 100. Comma. Chen Zan didn't expect that the task list was so long. After dragging for a long time, he realized that there was a large list of various 5th order materials below. And 100 units of each. You actually want tier 5 materials for a third job quest. Chen Zan couldn't help but want to scold her. Tier 5 materials, but after the 5th rank, professionals can only obtain materials from monsters. He is two full stages higher than he is now. And not only are there many types, but also many are needed. It would probably take him a lot of time just to find these materials. But the complaints are the complaints. Now that he has accepted the task, he can only plan for the next task. At least Chen Zan understands one thing now, that is, this sixth level difficulty task is no longer just killing monsters in the simple sense. There may even be more changes in the future. It is said that at the fourth turn, professionals will have to open the talent tree, and the task will probably be even more difficult then. After thinking silently for a moment, Chen Zan turned and left the job transfer temple. As soon as she left the house, the nun big sister gave Chen Zan a polite smile, other than that, she didn't say anything, and she didn't even ask. Although Chen Zan was a little strange, he still nodded and left here without saying a word. After his figure completely disappeared, the nun big sister actually let out a sigh of relief. Oh, finally left. The nun patted her exaggerated chest, and a look of fear appeared on her face. After all, in her eyes, Chen Zan has already been judged as a low-key second generation from a top family or even a guild. Don't say I like this kind of person, even if it's just a simple overnight stay, it may lead to death. After thinking about it, she still opened the own communication list, and found that it was better to control these licking dogs. If Chen Zan knew that the big sister's mentality would change like this, he probably couldn't help but laugh out loud. Chen Zan, who left the temple of job transfer, went directly to Demao Trading Company to find Sister Ya. When Sister Ya saw Chen Zan appearing, a look of surprise appeared on her face. To Chen Zan's surprise, the first sentence the other party saw was his safety, not the deal. Mr. Chen, I have been trying to contact you for the past few days. Liu Xiaoya was wearing a slim chong song, with the slits almost reaching the base of her thighs, with a deep apology on her face. But I don't have Mr. Chen's contact information, so I can only be anxious. Thank you, Sister Ya, for your concern. Am I fine? Chen Zan replied with a smile, this time, I can directly add a contact method. If you need anything in the future, you can also directly contact Sister Ya. That's great. Liu Xiaoya showed a very happy smile on her face, no matter what Mr. Chen needs in the future, I will definitely meet them. After speaking, she seemed to feel the ambiguity in the words, Liu Xiaoya blushed suddenly, and quickly stretched out her hand to lead the way. Chen, Mr. Chen, please. Chen Zan just smiled and followed Liu Xiaoya into the private room. I don't know what item Mr. Chen wants to sell this time. Liu Xiaoya knew that Chen Zan didn't go to the Three Treasures Hall because he had nothing to do, so he couldn't be here for sightseeing, so she asked. Nothing, that's all. With a shake of his hand, Chen Zan took out all the items he had harvested in the Shadow Python Secret Realm. In an instant, a brighter light than last time almost flashed Liu Xiaoya's eyes. Bronze equipment, skill books, second order materials, hiss, is this a Mount Egg? The moment Liu Xiaoya used her identification skills, she was completely shocked by the mountain of things in front of her. Especially when she saw countless mount eggs, the shock in her heart could not be described in words. Shadow Python. Shadow Python. All Shadow Pythons. Hiss. In just a moment, the ice snow smart Liu Xiaoya instantly understood the source of these things. Shadow Python Secret Realm. Although the Wu family tried their best to cover up the news that the Shadow Python secret realm was permanently destroyed, Lu Xiaoya naturally knew about it as the director of the local cat company. Originally, she was still guessing who did it, but when she saw so many mount eggs, she instantly understood. Everything was done by Chen Zan. 
No, to be precise, it was the existence behind him who made the move. God, how terrifying is an existence that can completely destroy a secret realm? Liu Xiaoya's eyes kept changing, and she looked at Chen Zong with more awe. Not only did the other party permanently destroy the Shadow Python secret realm, but even swaggeringly harvested the secret realm and sold it here. If you are not a fool, then there is only one possibility, unfathomable and fearless. Chen Zong sat there casually, watching the expression on Liu Xiaoya's face constantly changing as if watching a play, he knew that the goal of owning had been achieved. As for the handling of items, Chen Zong had already made an estimate in his mind before coming to Damao firm. Generally speaking, there are roughly three ways. The first is the Damao firm, which has experience in cooperation and has some understanding of Liu Xiaoya's own behavior style Chen Zong, but it is not yet possible to fully trust her. Second, other firms, Wu's firm is naturally excluded, and they can only go to a firm like Knife to try, but from Chen Zong's feeling, as long as he shows up, the situation of selling a large number of Shadow Python mount eggs will definitely be known to the Wu family. The third is the black market. On the surface, the black market seems to be the most secretive, but Chen Zan knows that there is only one rule to follow in the black market, money can accomplish everything. As long as you give enough price tags, you can even dig out all your own information. Of course, it's not that Chen Zan didn't consider going to other cities for sale. The reason why he didn't go was because he thought it was too troublesome. Go to other places, but also face the same problem. So, in the end, Chen Zan's plan was to come to Damao. And he took out all his gains without hiding anything, not to show off his wealth, but simply to see Liu Xiaoya's reaction. Looking at it now, Liu Xiaoya's reaction was already in his expectation. At least she didn't know that her real background identity was just an ordinary candidate in Frostwind City. As for the next development, Chen Zan will make a decision if she wants to continue to inquire about the source of her Shadow Python mount eggs, or to make indirect remarks. After these things are sold, all the owners of the Cat Company branch in Frost Frost City will be wiped out by him. Even if someone came to investigate at that time, it would be impossible to find him. On the contrary, if the other party doesn't ask, they can continue to complete the transaction, and even the trust level of Lu Xiaoya will be raised to the first level. I don't know how long Lu Xiaoya had been thinking about it in her mind, but she suddenly stood up and bowed deeply to Chen Zan. It made Chen Zan stunned for a moment, a little confused. Sister Ya, what is this? I know that Mr. Chen's ability to come to my local cat company for sale at this time is the greatest trust in me. Lu Xiaoya bowed and said, her tone full of sincerity. I, Lu Xiaoya, swear that today's incident will never be leaked even a little bit. If there is a little bit, I am willing to suffer certain death, and I will not be able to make an inch of my career in my life. As she spoke, she actually raised her head and stretched out her hand to bite On's index finger, and the blood drew a strange trajectory in midair. In the name of the contract of blood, witness. As soon as the words fell, Chen Zan actually saw a bloody light blooming between her fingers, and then turned into a mysterious rune that flickered in the void for a few times before returning to nothingness. This is the blood packed skill. When Chen Zan saw this rune, he just asked with a little doubt. Yes, Liu Xiaoya didn't hide anything, but nodded with a smile, Mr. Chen, my professional identity is a blood appraiser. Without waiting for Chen Zan to ask, she took the initiative to say, this is a special profession, mainly for appraisal, but I can use the power of blood to complete the contract, so as to help clients keep their secrets. There may be many other skills, but unfortunately I am only a third-rank professional and cannot open them. Quote. I see. Chen Zan nodded slightly, his face didn't fluctuate too much. Originally, he hadn't thought that Lu Xiaoya would have such an operation. But now, the other party even used the blood contract skills, which made him feel more at ease. As for this skill, he only heard the teacher talk about it when he was curious in class. Once this skill is activated, it will be bound by the rules of the entire game. Once violated, there will really be consequences for violating the oath. At that time, he remembered that the teacher joked that if you meet a boy who is willing to use the blood bond skill, then marry him. Sister Ya is a little too nervous. Chen Zan suddenly chuckled, and his smile became brighter than before, I'm just selling a batch of goods, that's all. Clear, Liu Xiaoya nodded her head heavily, 
I will personally appraise these items throughout the process, and I will not let anyone handle them, but it will take a long time, please don't worry, Mr. Chen. Can, thinking of himself so much, Chen Zan still has no reason not to agree. Next, Chen Zan sat on the sofa, sipping tea, and admiring Lu Xiaoya's figure constantly checking each piece of equipment. She sometimes bends down and bows her head, sometimes raises her head to meditate, and sometimes records sideways. Unknowingly, the perfect figure from multiple angles was continuously presented in front of Chen Zan's eyes. Chen Zan also admired this with relish, and the time passed was not boring. In a blink of an eye, nearly two hours passed, and Lu Xiaoya, who was so busy and dripping with sweat, finally walked in front of Chen Zan with graceful steps. Well, she let out a breath and smiled in front of Chen Zan, I kept you waiting, I registered all the equipment here, including 15 pieces of bronze equipment, two skill books, 678 mount eggs, and other materials several. She opened the list in front of her and said to Chen Zan. Mr. Chen, can you browse and see if there is any mistake? No need. Chen Zan waved his hand and refused, I am very assured of Sister Ya's reputation. Okay, with the previous intersection, Lu Xiaoya did not pretend this time, but said directly. According to the market price, these add up to 72.55 million gold coins, plus your Bijanvip qualification can give you 80.5 million gold coins. Lu Xiaoya smiled a bit, according to your standards, you are already qualified as a black gold user of our local cat business, and you can just apply for a black gold card for you. You can also compensate an additional 3 million gold coins, are you satisfied? Quote. Satisfied, really chicken satisfied. Chen Zan kept his expression on the surface, but in fact he was already on the verge of laughing. He really hopes to have the opportunity to brush a few more waves of this Mount Secret Realm, it is simply an excellent way to get rich overnight. It's a pity that this kind of Mount Secret Realm is very rare, even in a hundred secret realms, it is not enough to meet one. After a moment of silence, Chen Zan nodded calmly. All right, as he spoke, he reached out and opened a light curtain, on which a list was listed. I need Sister Ya to help me see what's inside, can you get it all together? With such a huge sum of money in hand, Chen Zan had an idea just now, and directly showed Lu Xiaoyu the list of materials for the mission target he had obtained. If the other party can help collect it, wouldn't it save me a lot of hard work? Lu Xiaoyu stared at the list for a moment, and Lu Yi frowned. Then he said something that surprised Chen Zan. Mr. Chen, we have the materials you want at the cat shop. Oh, surprise flashed across Chen Zan's eyes. He also knew before that these fifth-level materials were all produced from the diamond-level secret realm after the fifth rank. And these materials don't even come from one secret realm, but multiple secret realms can be put together. But now the other party just glanced at it, and nodded without hesitation. This can't help but make Chen Zan sigh with emotion, the Mao firm is indeed an old-fashioned firm, and its background is really extraordinary. Very good. Chen Zan smiled faintly, if I need these, how long will it take to prepare them? This is up to three days. Lu Xiaoya pondered for a moment, then stretched out three green fingers. Because it is a fifth grade material, I need to transfer the goods from the head office. I must finish it as soon as possible. Okay, let's talk about the material later. Chen Zan nodded slightly, then changed the topic. In addition to these, I also need a lot of other materials, such as Tianyan spiritual marrow and the like, as well as the food needed by the shadow monsters, and by the way, I also need metal type ones. Nearly half an hour later, Chen Zan's figure left the Mao firm under Lu Xiaoya's watchful eye. When he left, his job transfer space was already full of various materials. They are prepared for Xiaoyan, Xiaoying, and Xiaoshui respectively. With the experience of Xiaoya last time, Chen Zan prepared 600 delicious meals for the three little ones this time. These things alone cost him a huge sum of nearly 30 million. This made Chen Zan's joy of becoming a multi-millionaire instantly washed away by more than half. With so many gold-swallowing beasts by my side, no matter how much I earn, I don't feel like it's enough. After leaving Ground Cat Firm, Chen Zan returned home again, and he planned to let these three little guys rush to LV30. As for Touchstone's little tooth, it wasn't that Chen Zan didn't help, it was because it had eaten up all the ice-type materials it ate in the entire Frostwind City last time. 
Taking out all the prepared materials at once, Chen Zan started to let the three little guys eat like crazy. The three little guys were naturally very happy. And Chen Zan squatted aside and didn't stay idle. He thought that Xiaoxue and Xiaoying could save some resources because of their high initial level, but he suddenly discovered that the consumption of the two little guys was actually more terrifying than Xiaoyang. This means that Chen Zan's goal of saving has completely failed. Even if the basic level is high enough, the resources consumed will increase exponentially. Finally, after Chen Zan waited hard, finally ushered in the second LV-30 contracted beast, Xiaoyan. Reminder, your contract beast Qian Huahuang has reached LV-30, unlocking the skill, Nirvana Heart Flame, Forbidden Curse. Reminder, your contracted beast successfully triggers God's feedback, and you will get rewards, Strength plus 75, Dexterity plus 60, Spirit plus 100, Skills, Nirvana Heart Flame, Forbidden Curse. Chen Zan felt his body tremble, and a feeling of becoming stronger emerged spontaneously. With the previous experience of Xiaoya, Chen Zan was not too surprised this time, but was silently feeling the changes in his whole body. It was the new forbidden spell Nirvana Heart Flame that aroused his interest. He couldn't help but take another look. Nirvana Heart Flame, after being actively released, it can produce different effects on the enemy and your own side. Your own side will recover a large amount of HP in a short time under the Shroud of Nirvana Heart Flame, and the effect of having a Phoenix Bloodline Beast is doubled. The enemy will lose a lot of HP under the burning of the Heart Flame. If they cannot resist, they will be burned to ashes by the Heart Flame from the inside out. Very strong. Chen Zan gave a very pertinent evaluation. This forbidden curse can be released against his own side, which is equivalent to giving him an extra chance to save his life. And if Xiaoyan activates it by himself, he can even make himself full of blood instantly, isn't this equivalent to the effect of the legendary Phoenix Nirvana? Chen Zan looked at Xiaoyan at this moment, and found that the little guy had grown up a lot, it was already 30 or 40 centimeters long, and his feathers were bright red like fire, and he looked quite beautiful. However, it may take a long time to become a mount. Mount, thinking of this, Chen Zan couldn't help looking at Xiaoying and Xiaoxue, and at this moment, a beautiful notification sound followed. Reminder, your contract beast Shadow Panther has reached LV-30, unlocking the skill, Shadow Gate, Forbidden Curse. Reminder, your contracted beast has triggered the feedback of the gods, and you will get rewards, Strength plus 100, Agility plus 130, Spirit plus 100, Skills, Shadow Gate, Forbidden Spell. If possible, Chen Zan even wanted to immerse himself in the thrill of soaring strength without doing anything forever. Obviously, the feedback of the Shadow Panther is higher than that of Xiaoyan due to its higher potential. In just a short time, Chen Zan's three-dimensional attribute directly skyrocketed by nearly 200 points. This is an overall increase, not just a certain increase. It's simply outrageously strong. Chen Zan couldn't help but open the own property panel to check it out. Name, Chen Zan. Occupation, God of Mythology, Turn 2. Level, LV60. Life, 700,000. Magic Power, 1,405,000. Power, 700. Agility, 668. Spirit, 1405. Skills, God's Contract, God's Gift, God's Feedback, God's Blessing, Myriad Phoenix Nirvana Flame, Forbidden Curse, Ice Realm Holy Dragon Burial, Forbidden Curse, Eye of the Beginning of Yuan Dynasty, Edict of the Beginning of Yuan Dynasty, Holy Dragon Ice Soul Slash, Forbidden Curse, Phantom Shadow Stab, Forbidden Curse, White Tiger Extermination, Forbidden Curse, Nirvana Heart Flame, Forbidden Curse, Gate of Shadows, Forbidden Curse, Contract Beasts, Scarlet Flame Fire Phoenix, Frost Holy Dragon, Phantom Panther, Holy Beast White Tiger. Battle Power, 108 stars. Available attribute points, 0. Exaggeration, absolute exaggeration. Chen Zan looked at the 3D on his panel and sighed like this. You know, as a beast master, almost most of the attribute points will be added to the spirit. And even for a LV-60 mage, the mental energy is generally between 600 to 800, which still considers the situation of full spirit. And it's nothing more than a full-strength melee fighter. But now Chen Zan not only has strength comparable to a LV-60 fighter, but even his agility has soared to almost the same level. In other words, any of his three-dimensional attributes can be compared with any other profession. 
The spiritual attribute far exceeds the same rank. Some people may question that this is not much different, and there is no need to exaggerate. But in fact, this is not as simple as 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. It is equivalent to a weak mage suddenly possessing the strength comparable to a warrior and the speed comparable to an archer. This kind of improvement is simply unimaginable. With this in mind, Chen Zan couldn't help but look forward to what skills Xiaoshui could give him feedback after level 30. However, when Xiaoshui drank the last bottle of potion, its level actually only stayed at LV29, which was only one step away from LV30. Miao, Xiaoshui looked at Xiaoying's figure that was a circle bigger than herself, and couldn't help wrinkling her own little nose showing dissatisfaction, she came to Chen Zan to act coquettishly, wanting to eat more. Ah, it's not that I don't give it, it's that there is really no more. Chen Zan rested his forehead with his hand, and had eaten up so many ingredients, it might be impossible to get enough ingredients in a short time. It took a lot of time for Chen Zan to appease Xiaoshui who was a bit tempered. At this time, the sun was setting, Chen Zan looked at the sky, and it was time for Mu Shui's birthday party. Hi sir, please show your electronic invitation card. On the top floor of the largest and most luxurious hotel in Frostwind City, a beautiful woman in uniform stopped Chen Zan at the entrance of the lobby. Chen Zan raised his hand to open the light curtain in front of him, and showed an electronic invitation to the other party for viewing. Okay, please come in, sir. The beauty just took a look, then turned sideways to get out of the way, and said a please gesture with a smile on her face. Thanks, Chen Zan nodded slightly, and walked smoothly into a magnificent hall. There are no imaginary obstacles, and there are no other vulgar plots. As soon as he entered the hall, he saw that there were already many people in the hall, which was very lively. Is this birthday party so big? Chen Zan found a seat at random and sat down, picked up a glass of juice and looked at the figures around him and couldn't help but mutter to himself. This time, the Wu family helped Zhang Luo, so of course it's big. I don't know when someone suddenly spoke next to me. Chen Zan subconsciously turned around, only to find that the chubby young man looked familiar. And the other party also saw his appearance, and actually exclaimed directly. I'm going, Chen Zan, why are you here? Ah, we know each other. Chen Zan froze for a moment, and looked at the other party with some doubts. He just felt a little familiar, but he couldn't remember who the other party was. I do not know, the fat-faced boy's words almost made the juice in Chen Zan's mouth spit out. You are the male god of our third middle school, which girl would not know you? Yes, but you are a man. Chen Zan felt that something was wrong with this guy, and was about to get up and run away. But who knew that the chubby-faced boy grabbed Chen Zan's arm and said hastily, That's great, my girlfriends always talk about you, now I can finally see the real person. As he said that, he couldn't say anything, pulled Chen Zan and walked towards the distance. After all, this is a public place, Chen Zan is not easy to do anything, so he can only let the other party drag him away. Soon, he saw a group of maturely dressed girls gathered together, and this fat-faced boy was actually the only male best friend among the many girls. Seeing Chen Zan appear, all the girls were stunned for a moment, and then screamed astonishingly. Ah, God, I finally see you, God. God, so handsome. God, when will you take me home? Male God, please add a contact information, he can come to the door anytime. That's enough, Nympho, the male god doesn't belong to you, it belongs to me. Chen Zan didn't expect that his appearance would cause such a big reaction. Seeing that the security guard was about to walk towards him, he quickly stopped him. Ahem, can we be quiet for a while? This is a public place. Hush, the male god has spoken, didn't you hear? Hum, whatever the male god says is right. Wow, I won't talk anymore. After a brief exchange of pleasantries, Chen Zan realized that these girls were all his classmates in No. 3 Middle School, but it was a little too early and too presumptuous to be enlightened. Chen Zan, the college entrance examination is getting closer and closer, how are you preparing? The concern for the male god made all the girls quickly change the topic to the college entrance examination. Yeah, I heard that this time there is really a big move, and the location of the college entrance examination is not in the city of Frost. That's right, it's said that the rewards this time are really exaggerated, 
and even many seventh-tier guilds have said that they will send people to watch the ceremony. What, the seventh-level guild, my god, doesn't that mean that someone will go directly to the sky? That's right, otherwise, why do you think the Wu family is helping the Mu family so much? I heard that the number one middle school's Wa Mu Shui will be recruited by the seventh level guild this time. The Wu family, Chen Zan's heart moved, this was what he focused on, so he couldn't help asking casually. Why does the Wu family help? Do you want to join the seventh order guild? How is it possible? God, you probably don't know. A nympho female classmate volunteered and said, this time, it is said that the Wu family wants to marry the Mu family, and marrying a wife who joins the seventh level guild will be the most profitable. A marriage, Chen Zan's eyes flashed, and he asked again, isn't the Wu family the first family? Why do you need to marry someone else? Wow, male god, you must be practicing hard every day and not caring about worldly affairs, right? Another female classmate suddenly lowered her voice. I heard that the secret realm of the Wu family was destroyed a few days ago, and it's still permanent. The Wu family's economic income has been cut off by more than half at once. Do you think they cannot be in a hurry? Quote. It's more than that. My dad is one of their suppliers. I heard from insiders that several members of the Kuangtao Guild were also killed strangely, and all their belongings were taken away. That's right. The Wu family suffered heavy losses in this wave, and it also angered the president of the Kuangtao Guild. It is said that the president will come to investigate the case himself, and he must find the murderer. What? The head of the Kuangtao Guild is coming. Chen Zan's heart skipped a beat when he heard this, and he was really afraid of something. The president of the Kuangtao Guild is at least a rank 5 professional, and maybe he is a quasi-rank existence. If he finds out something, wouldn't he be in crisis? The leader of the Fifth Order Guild, Chen Zan's eyes suddenly lit up, showing interest, when are you coming? I want to get to know you. This, it is said that it is only a few days. I don't know the details. A female classmate thought for a while, I heard that they came this time for a secret realm in the wild. The Wu family is also making preparations. At least we have to explore that secret realm before we talk about it. As she spoke, there was a glow of excitement on her face. God, if you really want to meet, I'll ask my dad to introduce you. Just say, are you my boyfriend? Get out, little hoof, you've been talking about it for a long time, so there is such an intention. Sisters, she wants to steal the male god alone, kill her. While the crowd was playing, suddenly there was a commotion from the crowd in the distance, and then they saw and heard someone exclaiming. Look, it's the young master of the Wu family, Wu Feng. What, Wu Feng is here too. It is said that he has just completed the third rank job task. Amidst the noise of the crowd, Chen Zan saw a tall, exaggerated bear-like figure walking towards him. Boom, Wu Feng did not appear in formal attire, but a short shirt similar to a practice uniform, and his face was full of pride as he walked like a dragon and a tiger, and he did not put in one's eyes of everyone present. He indeed has such qualifications, because the reason why he came back was because his father Wu Tianying personally promised to pass on the title of patriarch to him. As long as he can control the entire Wu family, let alone three ranks, even four or five ranks will have a chance. However, to achieve this, the father only has one request, and that is to marry the daughter of the Mu family. Although Wu Feng has never been married, he is romantic and has countless women around him. For his father's request, he said that he has no pressure at all. Isn't it just chasing women? Just don't take it easy. Because of this, he took the initiative to undertake the responsibility of the Mu family for Mu Shui's birthday party, in order to win the favor of Mu Shui and even the Mu family behind him. Now it seems that the effect is very good. As soon as he appeared, many guests who came to the birthday party greeted him one after another, with respectful expressions on their faces. With a proud smile on the corner of Wu Feng's mouth, he just nodded in greeting. However, his heart was overwhelmed by the pleasure of controlling power. Ha ha, thank you, young Master Wu, for making such a grand arrangement for my Mu family. A middle-aged man with gray hair led the crowd to greet him. Mu Chengfeng, the current head of the Mu family, is Mu Shui's uncle. He he, Uncle Mu is too polite. Wu Feng also smiled slightly, it is my honor, Wu Feng, to be able to take care of Mu Shui's little sister. Ha ha ha, 
I didn't expect young Master Wu to be so approachable, humble and elegant. My niece is so lucky to know you. The smile on Mu Chengfang's face became more intense, and he turned to look at a middle-aged beautiful woman behind him. Sister-in-law, what are you not satisfied with having such a good son-in-law? Ah, honor, honor. The middle-aged beautiful woman seemed a little distracted, but she just forced a smile when she heard the words. This is Mu Shui's mother. Why don't you look very happy? Surrounded by a group of female students, Chen Zan was a little puzzled and authentic looking at this scene. Sure, then Mu Shui's father, Mu Chengyun, died young and was brought up by her mother. A female student from 8 trigrams quickly explained. Mu Shui seems to be the daughter of the entire Mu family, but actually her status in the Mu family is not high. Yes, I heard that Mu Shui was very opposed to this marriage, but who made her grow up with the resources of the Mu family? Chen Zan's eyes flashed, he didn't expect that there was such an unknown side behind Mu Shui. But it didn't have much to do with him, he looked around, if possible, Chen Zan even wanted to leave now. After all, the information he needs to know is almost enough, and it doesn't make much sense to stay here any longer. However, the many female students surrounded by him made it difficult for him to escape. He he, uncle, since everyone is here, why don't we invite the Lord here? Wu Feng didn't pay any attention to Mu Shui's mother's expression at all, but directly said to Mu Chengfeng. Okay, I'll let the girl out now. Mu Chengfeng nodded quickly when he heard the words, turned around and said a few words to the servants behind him. The servant heard the words and left, and not long after, the light in the entire hall suddenly dimmed. With a swish, a beam of light shone from a distance and landed directly on the steps on the second floor. For a moment, everyone's eyes were subconsciously attracted. When the low and melodious music sounded, a beautiful figure in a light blue dress, like Snow White, appeared from the second floor. Wow, the whole hall was amazed by this figure. The incomparably exquisite facial features, perfect figure, and ethereal and incomparable temperament like an elf in the snow almost made Wu Feng unable to move his eyes away for an instant. The best, the absolute best. This is a peerless treasure that he has never seen among the flowers he flew across. The moment he saw Mu Shui, he made up his mind that he must take this woman down. As the light moved, that figure began to walk down the steps slowly, and all eyes followed her. Clatter, clatter, the entire hall was silent, as if there was only the light sound of the crystal shoe colliding with the steps. In just twenty steps, Mu Shui completely became the focus of the audience. In the end, Wu Feng, who couldn't hold back, separated from the crowd and strode over. Wu Feng's initiative instantly separated the crowd. I don't know who is smart enough to focus a beam of spotlight on Wu Feng, making them the focus of the audience in an instant. For a moment, the wonderful picture of Snow White and the prince could not help but emerge in everyone's mind. Wow, they look so good together. Indeed, a talented man and a woman are a perfect match. It's very much like the fairy tale I'm looking forward to. While everyone was discussing, a slight smile appeared on the corner of Wu Feng's mouth, and he even bent down slightly in a very gentlemanly manner and stretched out a hand. It was clear that he was going to be Mu Shui's first supporter when she went downstairs. At this time, all the space around him has been completely emptied by the servants. Almost created a perfect meeting situation for the two. Clatter. The sound of Mu Shui's last step disappeared at the same time as the background music, and her unparalleled figure was already standing in front of Wu Feng. The smile on the corner of Wu Feng's mouth became more and more intense, and his raised arm stretched forward a little bit, and it was almost in front of Mu Shui. Next, Mu Shui just needs to stretch out her hand and place it gently in Wu Feng's palm, and everything will come to a perfect ending. However, under everyone's gaze, Mu Shui didn't stretch out her hand, but stood there, holding the hem of her skirt with both hands and showing a smile of a top hat to Wu Feng young master who stretched out her hand in front of her. Hello, Wu Feng young master. You, hello. Wu Feng's expression froze. He wanted to get angry, but he could only temporarily suppress his dissatisfaction when the other party greeted him under the watchful eyes of everyone. He also smiled. Thank you for participating in my birthday party. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best of luck. Before Wu Feng could speak, Mu Shui smiled and changed the topic to everyone. 
With a clatter, applause rang out in the hall, and the atmosphere became enthusiastic again. Seeing this, Mu Chengfeng who wanted to speak had no choice but to swallow the words that came to his mouth. Miss Mu Shui, actually, I think. After adjusting his mentality, Wu Feng was about to chat with Mu Shui with a smile on his face. But he didn't know that he just said halfway, but heard Mu Shui smiled apologetically, sorry, excuse me. After speaking, he actually nodded slightly to Wu Feng, then turned around and left. Miss your sister. Wu Feng already wanted to scold her, if it was another woman, he would probably grab her by the neck and question her. But the girl in front of him was not another woman after all, and Mu Shui's professional status also made him a little afraid. Therefore, Wu Feng could only show an embarrassing smile on his face again, and watched Mu Shui leave the crowd. Mu Shui's beautiful eyes moved, and she kept searching in the crowd. Suddenly, her eyes paused, and then a nice smile appeared on her face. Holding the hem of the skirt with both hands, he actually trotted all the way towards the edge of the crowd. In the end, he stopped directly in front of a group of girls. Chen, Chen Zan, you are here. To everyone's surprise, the one Mu Shui took the initiative to say hello to was not a girl, but a handsome young man surrounded by girls. Even when Mu Shui was speaking, there was a faint blush on her face, she seemed a little shy. Shy. Suddenly, a nameless fire rose in Wu Feng's heart. I stood at the bottom and stretched out my hand, but you didn't answer, but ran to talk to other boys. At this moment, Wu Feng has already regarded Mu Shui as his own marriage partner, that is, his own confinement. Now that the woman he cares about shows such a state with other men, how can he not be angry? But even so, Wu Feng did not lose his mind, but asked Don's follower to come over and ask through gritted teeth. Who is he? Young master, he is Chen Zan, a candidate in No. 3 Middle School. He grew up with Mu Shui before. The attendant quickly reported Chen Zan's general information. Beast master, Wu Feng sneered after hearing this, I thought it was some kind of stuff, but it turned out to be a piece of trash. As a third rank professional, he was very aware of the shortcomings of you beast master, and for a moment, he was no longer worried. The best way to defeat an opponent is to humiliate him in front of the woman he loves. Wu Feng had already thought of dozens of ways to humiliate the other party in his mind, and he was the best at dealing with such people. Happy birthday! When the Lord came, Chen Zan also greeted with a smile. Thanks, Mu Shui said, with a joyful smile on her face. She looked at the many girls around Chen Zan, and subconsciously asked, Who are these? Oh, they are my classmates in No. 3 Middle School. Chen Zan introduced casually, By the way, Mu Shui, I still have something to do here, so I'll be leaving first. Ah, what are you leaving? Mu Shui froze for a moment, with an unconcealable disappointment on her face. Then, can't you stay a little longer? We just, met. Chen Zan smiled apologetically, Sorry, my matter is indeed difficult. In fact, Chen Zan has nothing to do but he feels that the purpose of owning has been achieved, and staying any longer will only make himself more conspicuous and instead add unnecessary trouble. As for the marriage, he doesn't care who is married to whom. Oh well, when Chen Zan said so, Mu Shui didn't force her to stay, but said rather hopefully, then, can we, see each other again in the future? This, depends on fate. Chen Zan wanted to say that there was no chance to say goodbye, but after thinking about it, it seemed that it was not very good, so he changed his words. After speaking, he turned around and walked out of the hall. But who would have imagined, just after walking a few steps, he heard a voice behind him. Since you are Mu Shui's friend, why bother to leave? Chen Zan turned his head and saw Wu Feng walking over with many people. The visitor is a guest. This birthday party is organized by me. If the reception is not good, wouldn't it be that I have neglected Mu Shui's friend? Before Chen Zan could speak, Wu Feng said with a smile on his face. No, I still have things to attend to. Chen Zan glanced at him and said calmly, I won't stay any longer. But just as he was about to take a step, he saw figures of several members of the Wu family blocking his way intentionally or unintentionally. Seeing this, Mu Shui Shou frowned and scolded, Wu Feng, what are you going to do? My friend needs to leave without your consent. You, anger flashed across Wu Feng's eyes, and he forced a laugh and said, 
Hee hee, Miss Mu Shui doesn't need to get angry, I'm just curious that this friend left right after he arrived, why is he in such a hurry? That's right, it's time to unwrap the presents, so why don't you take anything with you when you leave in such a hurry? A follower next to him spoke in a timely manner. Yes, yes, it's not something to be ashamed of if you don't have a gift. Oh, oh, or the gift is too shabby, and taking it out can only make people look embarrassed. Ha ha ha. Don't talk nonsense, if there is a gift, let this friend take it out and have a look. That's right, take it out and have a look. Everyone started booing, and immediately all eyes were on Chen Zan. Regarding this, Chen Zan just smiled faintly, looked at Mu Shui calmly and said, Sorry, I did not prepare a gift when I came. Ha ha ha. Before Mu Shui could speak, there was a burst of laughter in the hall. Oh my god, young master of the dignified Chen family, why can't you even prepare a gift? No way, no way. It's not true that no one attends a birthday party without presents, right? Ha ha ha, this seems to be the funniest joke I've heard this year. Feeling that the atmosphere was almost over, Wu Feng stood up with his mouth pursed. Okay, stop arguing, who stipulates that presents must be prepared for birthday parties? He put on a gesture of standing on Chen Zan's side. My friend, don't listen to their nonsense. Since you're here, you might as well get together more here. After your college entrance examination, maybe you don't know when we will meet again. As soon as his words fell, someone couldn't help booing. Young Master Wu said it lightly, so you didn't bring a gift, did you? Yes, yes, if you don't bring a gift, we will let him go. Why? Wu Feng waved his hands again and again, I'm just talking about the facts, why did you get involved with me? I did bring the gift, but it's not worth mentioning. Let's leave, okay. You have found all of them, how can you let them go easily? Sure enough, as soon as Wu Feng finished speaking, many people immediately became reluctant. Hey, young master Wu actually brought a gift. Why don't you take it out and have a look? That's right, I want to see what a worthless gift looks like. Take it out, take it out. Seeing the voices getting louder and louder, Wu Feng nodded with a hint of apology on his face, okay, then I'll make a fool of myself. He raised his hand and grabbed it, and a gift was taken out from his job transfer space. The moment this gift appeared, the entire hall was silent for a moment, and then there was a sound of gasping for air. This, this is the scepter of the ice crystal snow girl. My god, isn't this too precious? What? The silver ranked scepter that sold for 1 million gold coins at the state auction house earlier. It was said that it was bought by a mysterious buyer, but I didn't expect it to be Wu Xiao. Tisk tisk, Wu Xiao actually prepared a silver staff for Miss Mu Shui's birthday, it's not worth mentioning. Quote, ha ha ha, if this is not worth mentioning, I'm afraid there is nothing to mention. Unlike some people, it's so natural to not bring a gift. He he, listening to everyone's words, Chen Zan stood aside and finally understood Wu Feng's rather complicated pretend routine. After talking for a long time, I just wanted to borrow someone else's hand to let me take out the gift, so that I can compare it with myself who didn't get the gift. It not only folded own face, but also prevented Mu Shui from feeling too bad, after all, it was taken out passively. Or rich second generations willing to make so many twists and turns. Chen Zan said to himself with great interest, is this different from the web articles I read in my previous life? Although Wu Feng made so many fools, to be honest, it didn't have much impact on Chen Zan. Because he didn't have any other thoughts about Mu Shui, let alone fighting for face in front of the other party. It's just that he felt that it was a bit rude for him not to prepare any small gifts this time. After all, I came here in the name of attending the other party's birthday party. Do you want to supplement it with some gifts? But the things in his space are almost sold out, and there is nothing to give away except the magic scroll. Just as he was struggling, Wu Feng walked up to Mu Shui with the scepter on the other side. Miss Mu Shui, this is a small gift I prepared to express my heart. I hope you don't mind. It didn't matter that Mu Shui ignored him last time. This time Wu Feng specially prepared a top quality equipment suitable for ice mages. He didn't believe that Mu Shui would not be tempted. As long as the other party accepts, the birthday party will be considered a complete success. However, unexpectedly, 
Miu Shui had no intention of reaching out to take it from the beginning to the end, and even the expression on her face turned completely cold. Wu Young Master, your gift is too expensive, I can't afford it. Miu Shui's cold words made Wu Feng freeze for an instant, and then a wave of anger began to surge wildly in his body. What are you talking about? Miu Shui. Miu Chengfeng strode over and gave her a stern look. This is a gift prepared by Wu Xiao himself, why are you so ungrateful? He quickly turned around and smiled apologetically, Young Master Wu, don't be angry. Miu Shui is young and immature. I will accept this gift for her. As he spoke, he reached out to pick it up. But Miu Shui's words sounded even colder at this moment. Uncle, is this your birthday or mine? When did you even need to receive presents? The coldness in Miu Shui's tone made Miu Chengfang's expression turn ugly, and he opened his mouth to reprimand him. Will you be required to join any guild I will join in the future? But Miu Shui's next words made him swallow the words that came to his mouth. Yes, the reason why Miu Shui is so valued by the Wu family is because after the college entrance examination, it is very likely that she will be valued by the seventh tier guild. Originally, Miu Chengfeng wanted to use her to build a good relationship with the Wu family. Even if the Wu family suffered an accident, the emaciated camel was bigger than a horse, and he himself owed a large amount of debt to the Wu family. Naturally, there is no burden to sell girls for mercy. What's more, Miu Shui is not his biological daughter. But he overlooked an important point, that is, joining the Seventh Order Guild not only means background, but also means Miu Shui's own potential and strength. A professional who can grow into a high-rank powerhouse in the future is their greatest reliance. Therefore, when Miu Shui spoke, Miu Chengfang couldn't continue talking. You'd better take the gift back, I won't take it. Miu Shui glanced at Wu Feng, who had an ugly face, and said calmly. Don't you? Wu Feng's anger was unbearable at this time, and he snorted coldly, there is no reason to take back the things I Wu Feng sent out, since you don't want them, then throw them away. As soon as these words came out, the audience couldn't help being silent for a while. Everyone's heart skipped a beat subconsciously, what they danced was not a lost gift, no one thought that Wu Feng would really throw it away. It's just that everyone felt that when he said this, he was sure to tear his face. Just as everyone was thinking about how to resolve the current deadlock, an untimely voice suddenly sounded from the side. What a pity to lose it. How about you give it to me? Suddenly, all eyes followed the prestige, and they saw Chen Zan looking at Wu Feng seriously. Don't worry, I don't want you for nothing, I'll give you 100,000 gold coins, it's better than losing it. After Chen Zan finished speaking, without waiting for the other party's reaction, he looked at Miu Shui who was on the side. I came in a hurry, and indeed I didn't bring any presents, so you can see if I give you this. Okay. Upon hearing that it was sent by Chen Zan, Miu Shui nodded in agreement almost without thinking, with an incomparably bright smile on her face. Hiss. This time, Wu Fang's entire face turned green with anger. I just sent you if you don't want it, but he wants to send you. And still smiling so happily. Good very good. Wu Feng looked at Chen Zan with an angry smile, do you want it? As long as you can beat me, I will give it to you for free. Free gift. Okay, okay. When Chen Zan heard that it didn't cost money, he nodded without hesitation. Crash. At the same time as the voice fell, the crowd burst into an uproar. Is this Chen Zan crazy? He really wants to fight Wu Feng. HMPH, do you think he can leave without fighting? Isn't that too reckless? Wu Feng is a third rank professional, so how long has it been since Chen Zan changed his job? Didn't he even reach the full level of the first rank? Oh, young people are so impulsive. If you didn't say a few words just now, wouldn't there be nothing wrong? That's it, prepare to pay the price. Okay, refreshing enough. Wu Feng was thinking about how to get Chen Zan to agree, but he didn't expect the other party to be so happy, so he smiled and waved his hands to let the crowd disperse. Don't worry, I won't bully you. Aren't you a beast master? Summon all your contract beasts, and I can let you make the first move. He was worried that he would not find a chance to humiliate Chen Zan, but he didn't expect the other party to come to his door. Because he was afraid that the opponent would not dare to make a move, he even used the method of letting the opponent make the first move. Okay, Chen Zan nodded when he heard that the other party actually let him make the first move. 
But there's no need for contract beasts, I'll do it myself. After all, there are still so many people here, if the little ones can't control it, it will be troublesome if someone dies. You do it yourself. Wu Feng was taken aback for a moment, and then a deep contempt appeared on his face. Stop joking, how can the Beast Master not rely on the Beast Master to display his combat power? If I win by then. Before he could finish his sentence, he saw Chen Zan's figure suddenly flashed, rushing towards him like lightning. Um, so fast, Wu Feng was taken aback by Chen Zan's sudden burst of speed. Just as he was about to react, he saw a blur in front of his eyes, and then heard a bang, and a sharp pain suddenly came from his stomach. A majestic burst of force sent him flying with a single punch. Boom, snapped. Wu Feng didn't know how many chairs and snacks he smashed before he stopped. Puff. As soon as he stopped, Wu Feng opened his mouth and a blood arrow spewed out, his whole face was full of disbelief. He wanted to struggle to get up, but found that he didn't know how many ribs were broken, and his body couldn't use any strength. At the same time, Chen Zan's natural words sounded not far away. Look, I have won. This fluffy sentence exploded the entire hall like a thunderbolt. Everyone stared dumbfounded at Wu Feng who fell to the ground, and couldn't believe their own eyes. Wu Feng, the majestic rank 3 fighter, was actually defeated. Not only did they lose, but they also lost so miserably. And the opponent just punched. How can this be? After the entire hall was silent for a long while, someone couldn't help but speak in a low voice. Isn't this guy a beast master? Why is he so powerful? What are you doing? Can a beast master knock out a rank 3 warrior with one punch? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Could it be that Chen Zan intentionally falsely reported his identity as a professional? Impossible, I was there the day he changed jobs, so I can't read it wrong. If it's true, isn't this too violent? Comma, Mu Shui's pretty face was also full of shock at this time, she always thought that Chen Zan was unwilling to get too close to her because of her status as a beast master. But I never expected that the other party would be so powerful. She already knew about Wu Feng's information. He was a professional who had just stepped into the third rank, and he was also a fighter who was best at melee combat. Just at that moment, she even started to chant a spell, ready to forcefully join the battle to help Chen Zan. But who would have thought that before she could make a move, Chen Zan would completely finish Wu Feng with one punch? The process was so fast that she didn't even have time to react. Mu Chengfeng and the others were even more shocked by this scene and were speechless. But at this moment, Chen Zan walked up to Wu Feng, saw him struggling on the ground and couldn't get up, and said casually. You lost, give me the staff. You, seeing this, Wu Feng gritted his teeth and opened his mouth, but as soon as he said a word, Chen Zan's expression turned cold instantly. What, you want to renege on your debt? For a moment, Wu Feng felt the hairs all over his body stand on end, as if he was being stared at by a poisonous snake hiding in the dark. Almost subconsciously, he took out the ice crystal staff. Seeing this, Chen Zan snatched it from his hand and smiled faintly. That's about the same. After finishing speaking, he ignored Wu Feng's livid face, but walked up to Mu Shui and put the staff in her hand. Okay, this gift is for you, I'm leaving. 88. After speaking, without waiting for Mu Shui to react, she put oil on the soles of her feet and left here quickly. It wasn't until Chen Zan's figure disappeared that the entire hall gradually recovered from the shock. Comma, Chen Zan left the hotel, and instead of going home directly, he walked around to see if anyone was following him. After confirming that there was no one, he worriedly found a hotel farther away. After opening a room there, Chen Zan just felt a little relieved. Be careful sailing the 10,000-year ship, especially now that he has a three-rotation mission coming up, he doesn't want to make trouble. This time, if the Wu family attacked him, he would definitely find a place to live. In this way, isn't it right for him to be at home? So, after careful consideration, Chen Zan decided that he was not going to go home until the end of the third rank mission. Moreover, Chen Zan's seemingly reckless shot this time is actually his confidence in his own strength. Because before that, he had already used the eye of Yuanchu to scan Wu Feng's information. When I found out that the other party was only LV61, I was completely relieved. 
Chen Zan naturally knew the consequences of doing so, but he still did it. The reason is very simple. If Wu Feng wants to go around embarrassing himself, then he should just embarrass him even more. What's more, when Chen Zan made the move, a new plan even surfaced. A plan on how to completely destroy the Wu family. Anyway, he is now completely hated by the Wu family. Thinking about it, the plan is reasonable, right? And just when Chen Zan was staying in the hotel, Wu Tianying saw his son being carried back inside the Wu family's mansion on the other side, and his face turned green. Who did it? Chen, Chen Zan, the follower hurriedly said. Trash, what's going on? Tell me clearly. Wu Tianying slapped the follower as soon as he went up, and the face of the follower was swollen from the slap. But the other party didn't even move, but quickly explained. As such that, after a while, Wu Tianying looked at Wu Feng lying there, and couldn't help reprimanding him. Trash, you can't even grasp the opportunity, and let a beast master beat you like this. Father, it's not that I can't beat him. He must have some kind of equipment on him. Otherwise, how could he explode with such great power? Wu Feng had already figured it out on the way back. Chen Zan couldn't possibly be that strong, so he attributed the reason to the equipment he carried. No matter what the reason is, your underestimation of the enemy has made you taste the bitter fruit. Wu Tianying scolded coldly. Father, I know I was wrong, but that Chen Zan must not let him go, he may have some priceless equipment on him. Wu Feng coughed violently twice, and said hastily, I'm a third-rank fighter, and he's only changed his job for a few days. It's absolutely extraordinary to have such a boosted equipment, you must get it. Wu Tianying also pondered for a moment when he heard the words, and finally nodded. Recently, the president is preparing for a trip to the secret realm. Our Wu family focuses on it. If you want to find it, you can bring someone to find it yourself. Okay, thank you father. Wu Feng was overjoyed in an instant, that Chen Zan dared to attack him, this time he must let him know how miserable the end would be if he went against him. After only one night, under the treatment of the pastor, Wu Feng's injury was almost healed. For several days, he led people to search for Chen Zan everywhere, even the places where Chen Zan usually haunts. But unfortunately, they were all avoided by Chen Zan, who had the foresight. On the other hand, Chen Zan finally managed to get all the materials he needed from the ground cat business after three days. After paying a large sum of gold coins, Chen Zan returned to the hotel where he lived with the materials. After removing the disguise, he opened the task list, and immediately heard the prompt sound. Prompt check the materials that meet the task conditions, whether to submit. Yes, hint you have successfully handed in, blood-stained cold iron, tier 5, asterisk 100. Purple golden vine, 5th order 100. Heel wood, 5th order, asterisk 100. Comma, reminder, you have completed the first phase of the mission and received the reward, destiny battleship. Faded Battleship, a mysterious battleship built with a lot of materials, it will take you across the endless ocean to the ancient land. Reminder, the task reminder for the second stage has been updated, please check it yourself. New task reminder. Before Chen Zan had time to claim the reward, he clicked on the task list and saw that there was an exclamation mark under the first stage. When he clicked on it, information appeared immediately. Mission tips, young adventurer. I heard that you built a warship that can cross the ocean. Ha ha ha, it seems that you are ready to travel. Then head to Bebo Harbor, and from there, start your adventure. Bebo Harbor. Chen Zan was stunned for a moment, as if he was a bit unfamiliar with this name, but there was only one port in the entire Frost Frost City, which was more than a hundred kilometers away in the southeast. Could it be that, although Frost Frost City itself can be regarded as a port city, there are many port cities around it, and Lianzhou Prefecture is also one of the important ports of Sha Kingdom. Coupled with the fact that the small town is quite far from the port, it seems a bit depressed. When Chen Zan stood in this port with only a few fishing boats, he did hear the beep. Reminder, you have arrived at Bebo Port, please find a suitable water area to place the warship. A prompt appeared, proving that Chen Zan was right. He looked around, found a place where no one was around reached out and took out the fateful battleship rewarded by the mission, and threw it into the water casually. Snapped. The moment the extremely miniature battleship of fate fell into the water, it swelled up against the wind. 
In a blink of an eye, it turned into a small boat only 10 meters long. That's right, only 10 meters long. A mast wrapped in torn canvas on a small wooden boat that looks like a piece of broken wood is shaking in the wind, and it looks like it may fall apart at any time. I spent millions of gold coins and you gave me this. Chen Zan looked at the small wooden boat and was about to scold her. What about the battleship of fate? This wooden boat is even simpler than the fishing boats docked on the shore just now. After a full 10 seconds of silence, Chen Zan still resisted the thought of tearing it down. After all, this is a quest item, what if it is broken and I can't do the quest? With doubts, Chen Zan stepped on the small wooden boat cautiously. As soon as he boarded the boat, he heard a buzzing sound, and a faint light actually emanated from the hull of the boat. At the next moment, without waiting for Chen Zan to control it, the wooden boat sailed by itself. Autopilot, sensing the difference in this wooden boat, Chen Zan's doubts also slightly subsided. Soon, he was surprised to find that the speed of the wooden boat was getting faster and faster, so fast that even the fishing boat could only catch up with its shadow. No wonder it's a question mark quality, that's how it is. Chen Zan looked at the waves receding rapidly from around the hull, and finally understood that the mission items cannot be treated with common sense. After sailing for more than 10 minutes, Chen Zan finally confirmed the true meaning of this fateful battleship. Simply put, it has its own navigation. It can automatically find the lost ancient mermaid city without Chen Zan doing anything. Chen Zan is glad that he didn't lose it at the moment, otherwise he really wouldn't be able to find the lost ancient mermaid city. Looking at the endless blue sea, Chen Zan really felt a little relaxed and happy at first. But after a long time, I found that it was the same. It even felt a little boring in the end. For two days in a row, Chen Zan just sat on the fateful battleship, sailing on the sea. What surprised him was that he didn't encounter even the slightest strange beast in the sea along the way. Chen Zan speculated that it might also have something to do with the light radiating from the fateful battleship. Could it be that I have to sail at sea for half a month? Chen Zan looked at the motionless sea and couldn't help feeling a little worried. If calculated in this way, how could this month be too late? Just as he was hesitating, there was a sudden bang, as if thunder resounded above the sea. Ha, huh, could it be a storm? Standing at the bow of the boat and looking into the distance, Chen Zan could see the dark clouds quickly gathering in the sky and rolling towards own. When sailing on the sea, the most taboo is encountering a storm. In the face of such a natural disaster, any ship is extremely small. Originally, Chen Zan thought that he had sailed well these two days, but it turned out that the journey was uneventful, and he didn't even encounter half a wild monster. It's all right now, I didn't encounter wild monsters, but encountered a storm directly. Hey, are you turning? Chen Zan patted the hull of the boat, and couldn't help but said, if you don't turn around, the storm will blow and it will fall apart. Hey, why don't you turn around and don't accelerate, okay? Hello, Chen Zan didn't say that it was okay, but when he said that the small wooden boat unexpectedly exploded at a terrifying speed faster than before, and rushed towards the brewing storm on its own initiative. It's over. Chen Zan felt that he should think about running away. Isn't he looking for death by rushing in? But he looked around and found that he couldn't get off the boat. That faint white light not only blocked others, but also blocked himself. Just as Chen Zan was anxious, the small wooden boat plunged into the storm. Crash, boom, the torrential downpour hit in an instant, and the rolling thunder resounded non-stop. At this time, the wooden boat Chen Zan was on was as insignificant as gravel, bumping constantly in the huge waves, as if it was about to disintegrate at any moment. Chen Zan subconsciously grasped the hull of the boat, trying to stabilize himself, but suddenly, the scene in front of him completely took his breath away. No way! Chen Zan suddenly discovered that in the turbulent waves, there was actually a huge vortex forming. The vortex was like the mouth of a giant beast, devouring everything around it. Facing such a terrible natural disaster, Chen Zan's small canoe swiped uncontrollably towards the whirlpool. Before Chen Zan could react, he felt his eyes go dark, and he was suddenly submerged by the current. Hint you found the sea of cursed gold. Reminder you have been cursed by the Naga, strength minus 100, agility minus 100, spirit minus 200, your magic resistance has been weakened, the power of all magic under the influence of the curse has been reduced by 10%, and your life recovery has been weakened. 
When Chen Zan's vision was clear again, he found himself on a sea that was so calm and frightening. At the same time, a series of notification sounds appeared in my mind one after another. The Sea of Curse, Gold Secret Realm, Chen Zan, who was no longer a job-changing rookie, suddenly discovered that this was actually a secret realm, and it was also a gold-level secret realm. Moreover, the small wooden boat under the feet actually lost the ability of automatic navigation here. Could it be that the lost ancient mermaid city is in this sea of curses? With doubts, Chen Zan summoned Xiaoyan, Xiaoya, Xiaoying, and Xiaoshui all from the contract space with a thought. The four sleeping sweet little guys were suddenly awakened, with reluctance still remaining on their faces. But when they saw the novel scenery around them, they suddenly regained their energy. Meow, Chen Zan grabbed Xiaoshui who almost jumped into the sea due to too much force. He felt that this little guy was not big during this time, but he had gained a lot of weight. Xiaoyan, it's time to show your true technology. Chen Zan snapped his fingers at Xiao Yan and said with a slightly smirk. Chirp, Xiao Yan screamed, feeling that the owner seemed to have some malicious intentions. Sure enough, a moment later, a small wooden boat with a flame-throwing accelerator galloped across the vast sea. Come on, Xiao Yan, hurry up. Meow, meow, meow. Ah, all the members of the boat, including Chen Zan, cheered Xiao Yan who opened his mouth to breathe fire. Wu, chirp, Xiao Yan looked bitter and wanted to protest, but seeing that he was weak, he had no choice but to obey. With the help of such an easy-to-use bird engine, Chen Zan had just left for a short time when he saw an island floating on the sea surface. At this moment, the reminder sounded in my mind again. Hint, you found the lost ancient mermaid city, Gold. It turns out that the ancient mermaid city is a small island. After hearing the prompt, Chen Zan realized that the mission location he was looking for was actually a small island. Now that he found the target, he started to slow down Xiaoyan and approach the ancient mermaid city. As he got closer, he could see a giant merman statue standing in the center of the island. At the same time, a white light emanated from the statue, completely covering the entire island. It seems that a translucent barrier has been formed, isolating the island from the surrounding sea water. Outside the barrier, Chen Zan saw a large number of strange creatures desperately attacking the barrier, as if they wanted to find a breakthrough. However, the situation has been at a stalemate without any progress. This is Naga Siren. Chen Zan looked at the strange figures covered in snake scales and snake tails, and subconsciously remembered a special wild monster he had learned before. The Naga Siren, which lives in the ocean all year round, has a strange body that is half human and half snake. Breathe freely whether in the ocean or in the sky. And in this group, the male Naga is extremely ugly, while the female Naga is as beautiful as a demon. Legend has it that their singing voices have fascinating magic power, and once they are heard, they will be controlled by the other party. Only the singing of the mermaid clan can resist it. Judging from the situation of many Naga sea monsters besieging the ancient mermaid city, Chen Zan can even judge that the two groups should be natural enemies. Reminder, you have been discovered by the Naga Siren, do you want to open the dialogue? Um, Chen Zan was taken aback when he heard the prompt, and then realized that this seemed to be the mission plot of the job transfer mission. You need to talk to the other party's NPC first, and then proceed to the next task. Yes, he came here to do a mission, so naturally he had no reason to refuse. Sure enough, following Chen Zan's choice, the besieging Naga Siren suddenly stopped their movements and looked at Chen Zan standing on the wooden boat. Among them, an older male Naga sea monster swam over from the surface of the water. There was a weird gurgling sound from his mouth. Fortunately, Chen Zan instantly reminded him of the information he said. Basically, it is to ask Chen Zan where he is from, where he is going, what he is doing and so on. But when Chen Zan only said that he was going to the ancient mermaid city, the very old Naga siren angrily raised the staff in his hand. Before Chen Zan finished reading the translation, thousands of Naga sea monsters rushed towards Chen Zan with weapons in their hands. Just do it if you don't agree. Chen Zan snorted coldly, since they were all mission NPCs anyway, he naturally showed no mercy. Before he could speak, Xiaoying, who was already eager to try, jumped onto Chen Zan's shoulder with a meow. The next moment, I saw the little guy raised his paw and waved lightly, the ninth level skill, Hand of Shadow. 
Meow. Thousands of shadow-like palms suddenly emerged from the shadows behind the walking Naga Siren. Then he stretched out and grabbed the Naga Siren's neck, and twisted it hard. Click. Thousands of crisp sounds appeared almost at the same time, and all the Naga sea monsters turned into a corpse and sank in the sea before they understood what was going on. Reminder, you killed the Naga Siren LV-80, you will get plus one experience value, and the contracted beast will get plus one experience value. Comma. Reminder, you killed the Naga Siren LV-85, you will get plus one experience value, and the contracted beast will get plus one experience value. Chen Zan ignored the alert message that had swiped the screen, but looked at the ancient mermaid city in the distance. Because at the same time Xiaoying instantly killed these Naga sea monsters, figures emerged from the ancient city. They are almost identical to humans for the most part, with the only difference being their fin-like ears. But when they jumped into the water, they found that the whole person turned into a half-man, half-fish figure. Seeing that Chen Zan had wiped out thousands of Naga sea monsters so easily, many members of the mermaid clan were shocked. However, they spoke dialects, and the distance was too far, so Chen Zan couldn't understand them at all. Prompt, you have attracted the attention of the mermaid family, do you want to start a dialogue? When they approached, the familiar task reminder appeared again. Chen Zan chose again. After a series of plot dialogues, it was probably because he shot and killed the Naga Siren clan and won their trust, so he invited him to the ancient city as a guest. Soon, Chen Zan parked the small wooden boat on the shore, surrounded by many mermaid tribes, and directly boarded the ancient city of mermaids. Hint, you have been blessed by the mermaids singing, and the negative effects have been dispelled. Chen Zan had just set foot on the island when he heard such a reminder. He was not too surprised by this, but walked towards the depths of the island under the guidance of the mermaid waiter. The entire huge island looks like it is completely made up of coral reefs and shells, and the remains of various shellfish can be seen everywhere. After nearly 20 minutes, Chen Zan saw from a distance that under the towering statue, there was a huge palace shaped like an open shell. Chen Zan was brought into the palace. At the end of the red carpet, a beautiful female mermaid was leaning on the throne. A delicate and pretty face like a porcelain doll, perfect curves exaggerated to the extreme, and a waist full of grip, are enough to explain what is perfect and what is extreme. A head of long golden hair was spread out, two strands hung down to the chest, extending straight down, and a fish tail could be seen slapping slightly. Princess Chi, the human warrior who helped us has arrived. A male mermaid saluted with one hand on his chest. Brave human warrior. Thank you for helping my mermaid clan repel powerful enemies. In return, a grand dinner will be held tonight to entertain the warriors. There was a little immaturity in the heavenly voice, and with that youthful face, Chen Zan wondered if this NPC princess was not even 20 years old. Chen Zan wanted to refuse, but he knew that this was all a mission scenario, and he just had to follow along. Soon, night fell, and many high-level mermaids gathered to celebrate Chen Zan's arrival. At the same time, Chen Zan could feel that their eyes were constantly moving around him, as if they were thinking about something. He has been waiting for the next plot to appear, but Nehi has not seen any new plot hints from the beginning to the end. Until late at night, a grand banquet had already dispersed, and Chen Zan even wondered if the plot would be delayed until tomorrow. Suddenly, a maid of the mermaid princess came over and asked with a bow. Dear Mr. Warrior, the princess would like to invite you to a gathering in the back garden. I, just as Chen Zan was about to speak, a prompt appeared suddenly. Reminder, the second phase of the task is over, and the third phase of the task has started. What's the situation? This is the third stage. Chen Zan originally thought that there was another mission reward, but the maid just asked, and went directly to the third stage. But Chen Zan suddenly thought of the third stage mission goal mentioned in the previous mission list. It is to help the mermaid princess to complete the goal. Could it be that the purpose of this gathering in the back garden is to talk about the objectives of the mission? Thinking of this, Chen Zan's eyes couldn't help but become excited. After so long a delay, the task can finally be completed. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.